Well, good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, or good evening, wherever you are. How is everyone today? It's good to see everybody here. Thank you guys so much for showing up today. We have a very serious issue to discuss, but, uh, yeah, and Mike hit on it here in chat. We're going to talk about that. This is very, very important, uh, but uh, I almost didn't have a live stream today as a result of what's going on on Xbox. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna discuss that though. But uh, let's get the shouts out of the way. Let's see who we have here. Mike, what's good? How's it going, man? Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing well. Dustin, hello. How are you? Good to see you. And Gamer Zero's in the house. What's up, brother? Welcome, man. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Nurse Nerd Gamer, hello. Yes, yes, ma'am. Time to make that money. Good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. So Elite Toxic, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Zero Cool is in the house. What's up? How's it going? Good to see you. So Bear Warren, <clears throat> welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. So got all vehicle achievements last night after your bit. Hey, thank you for watching them, man. I'm glad they helped you. Thank you so much. Matthew, hey, boys. Thanks for joining us, Matthew. Good to see you. Randy Mars, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. So Dan Hall, welcome. Good to see you, brother. Thanks for joining us today. Cellcraft, what's up, man? Good to see you, bro. Thanks for joining us. Okay, Samurai, hey man, welcome, good to see you, thanks for joining us. So, Eric McDuffie, welcome man, good to see you, thanks for joining us. 07's proper hand salute to you, sir, good to see you. So here's your deal. I almost, David Markham, welcome, good to see you, thanks for joining us. So, Nurse Nerd Gamer, sorry about that. I do apologize. <laughs> I do apologize. But again, it's always good to see you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so, listen, here's the deal. By now, I'm sure many of you have heard that uh, Gilly Masters Xbox Live account's got a one-year ban on it and for something that he didn't do. Uh, and remember, Jester Gaming, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. It's good to see you. Big Brother Blue, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. So, you guys remember last year, not quite a year ago, maybe six months to eight months ago, there was this massive band bot exploit um, going around on the Xbox Live service. Now, remember, this is not an Xbox, or this is not a GTA 5 problem. This is not a, a Rockstar problem. A Grand Theft Auto Online problem. This is a problem that's localized to the Xbox uh, live service infrastructure and their network uh, and their, their APIs, as a matter of fact. Eugene Washington, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. So, uh, Gilly Master and, and several other content creators back then put out videos on these, these uh, ban bot exploits. And basically what's happening is that uh, if you're on Xbox Live, for example, and you party up with someone, at least this is how it happened before. If you partied up with someone and you were in someone's Xbox Live's party, then, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, uh, there's a possibility that someone in that party, whether you know them or not, uh, is using a mod menu or some kind of application on their PC. Uh, and the reason this can happen is because uh, the Xbox, the Xbox, uh, game systems uh, work natively with the Xbox uh, and Microsoft Windows API uh, that allow you to literally stream your game data, your, all of your information from the Xbox console to the PC. So you can literally play your Xbox on your PC. You can play your Xbox games on the PC. And that's done through the Xbox Game Pass and uh, the Xbox Smart, Class, uh, Smart Glass app. Now, here's the deal, because this information is being streamed to a PC, uh, again, Eric McDuffie, welcome. Good to see you. Uh, Doug Christie, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. So because this information is being sent to a PC, any jackass with this uh, third-party app or whatever they're using, they can capture your information, whether it's a uh, whether it's a, um, your gamer tag, Xbox gamer tag, or any kind of, not necessarily login information, but just enough info that they need to initiate some kind of a ban bot exploit. Basically, they spam report your account. 
And because Xbox and their stupidity, utter stupidity at this point, and if, if I seem like I'm a little upset about it, it's because I am. Gilly Master is a good content creator, and he didn't deserve this. But uh, because some jackass with this app has some kind of a beef with uh, Gilly Master, they began spam reporting his account. And it's it's pathetic. It's really is pathetic. Because Xbox, has, they, they don't have actual human beings monitoring people's accounts for uh, reporting. For, you know, for abuses and everything else. Uh, human beings aren't monitoring these accounts. It's being done by AI. It's being done by bots them on their end, too. And, of course, because bots are stupid, they're only counting the number of, uh, the number of uh, reports that you get. If you get so many reports, then you get a suspension. Uh, and, it, and, of course, it gets progressively worse from there. If you get too many, then you get banned. Well, apparently, uh, Gilly Master's Xbox Live account, his, uh, his Game Pass Ultimate account, is banned for a year at this point. And that's complete and total BS. It is. And how long has this been going on? This is not new. This banned bot exploit's been happening across Xbox, and I think even on PlayStation at some point. This has been happening for some time now. This is nothing new. And Xbox has done nothing to fix it. In fact, the problem's gotten progressively worse. So I almost didn't have a live stream today because I, w I didn't want to put my account, or for that matter, anybody else's account, at risk because I finally reached the point uh, with uh, uh, streaming that I was comfortable maybe hosting crew sessions again. So now that's all gone out the window. So I just want to let everybody know at this point, uh, we're not going to, there won't be any crew sessions. There, I won't be hosting any crew sessions for the foreseeable future. And I'm definitely not hosting sessions for randoms. That's just not going to happen anymore. Pang, what's up? Good to see you, man. Thanks for joining us. And Hunter Plays, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. It's good to see you. So Hunter plays. Uh, here's here's my take on it. As long as you're playing by yourself, and which doesn't really sound right. That's kind of a joke. <laughs> giggity giggity. <laughs> but if <laughs> not playing, <laughs> sorry about that. I had to throw that in there to kind of lighten the mood a bit. Um, if you play, and Gamer Zero is correct. As long as you're playing solo, and as long as you're not joining anyone else's party. And I'm talking anyone. Don't join a friend's party. Don't. You, you can play a live service game. Just don't join a, an Xbox party. You should be okay. So you should be okay to play. Uh, just be mindful of what you're doing. Stay out of parties for that matter. And uh, <laughs> and nurse nurse. <laughs> Got to have safe group six. It's group six. <laughs> We're going to start here shortly, but I wanted to get that angry rant out because this is a serious issue. It is. This is a serious problem that's been ongoing for some time now. And just when you think the problem was fixed, because apparently Xbox, I think, put out a statement last year stating that uh, this Xbox or uh, ban bot exploit wasn't a thing and everything should be okay. Well, apparently it's not. And in, in Cellcraft, you're absolutely right. These multi-billion dollar, not just in Cellcraft, it's not just a multi-billion dollar company. We're talking about a multi-billion dollar software company. Software company and gaming companies, Microsoft and Xbox, who supposedly specialize in security, making operating systems for PCs and consoles, making games. Apparently, they haven't wrapped their heads around basic security and how to keep players safe on their own networks. So what do they do? They outsource uh, moderation to bots that make the wrong decision. This really pisses me off. It really pisses me off. So if I seem like I'm a little upset about it, that's why I do apologize. Xbox needs to get their heads out of their butts and fix this problem. This is BS. So Doug Christie, again, welcome. Good to see you. So... Xbox, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. So Doug Christie, as I understand it, uh, in order to stream from your console to your PC, your console has to be on. And and I've actually done that uh, on during my streams before as well. Uh, you have to actually uh, sh have your console on, uh, and it works natively uh, through the Xbox uh, Microsoft Windows API. So because of that, you have to have your console on so that you can log into your Xbox uh, Live account 
or whatever they're calling it, Game Pass Core, whatever it's called these days. You log into your Xbox account from your PC and you can literally stream from your PC to your console, but the console has to be on. Sergio Diaz, what's up? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, uh, and Sergio, this is exactly what we're talking about. Gilly Master didn't deserve that. That's a bunch of BS. It is. So I just want to let everybody out there know that as of right now and for the foreseeable future, I will not be hosting sessions for anyone, period. End of discussion, full stop. And until Xbox can get their heads out of their butts on this, they'll, I, I won't be hosting sessions for anyone. And that's to keep my crew accounts safe, uh, my crew members' accounts safe, to keep my account safe. Uh, we're going to hold a live stream regardless, but this is, this is serious enough to warrant some, some real attention here. And Brian Sterner, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Okay, that angry rant out of the way. For anybody out there who's new, I want to thank you guys for joining us. Normally, the live streams are a bit more lively than this. Uh, I don't start off on an angry rant, but this is a serious issue that requires serious attention on Microsoft Xbox, Xbox's part. They need to fix this problem. They need to fix it. Yeah, so Bear Warren, you understand, bro, I'm really pissed about this. We're paying, think about this, we're paying money. We're paying money to use the Xbox Live service, which is supposed to be safe to use, but yet players are getting banbotted by some jackass with a mod menu. And that just makes no sense to me. So yeah, it's, it's infuriating. So Jet Black, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. No, it's, this is limited right now, limited to the Xbox Live platform or to the Xbox Live ecosystem. Yaving, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. And Mario, 202012, welcome. Good to see you guys. Thanks for joining us. So we're going to start here soon. Yeah, exactly. Nurse Nerd Gamer and Cellcraft. Bill Gates, actually, Bill Gates isn't even, uh, he's not even uh, the Xbox or Microsoft CEO anymore. <laughs> But whoever that person is, they need, to, they need to get their heads out of their butts and stop sniffing their farts at this point. This is BS. But again, if you're new out here, thank you so much for joining us. Normally, our streams start off a bit more lively than this, but this is a serious issue. So Sunrise, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. So you're in cybersecurity, so you know exactly, you, so you, you know exactly what we're talking about here. It's, it's bull. It, it, it's BS. How is it that a multi-billion dollar software company like Microsoft Xbox can't seem to wrap their head around basic security? And why is it that no one at Microsoft Xbox can't look at a person's account and say, yeah, this, is, this seems like a, a, some kind of a ban bot or botnet attack on a person's account. This is an exploit. We need to fix this. And how is it that players are being banned for a year? from doing absolutely nothing wrong because Microsoft, in their infinite wisdom, can't hire human beings instead of using AI to monitor accounts. This is stupid. But again, I do apologize for being upset. We're going to start. Just give me one second to get logged in here. So again, thank you guys so much for joining us. This is my regularly scheduled Saturday live stream. Uh, I would have been on a much earlier, but... I had to go out and do a bit more and do a bit more research on exactly what happened to Gilly Master's account so that uh, I could come in here today with with an informed with an with information and so that we could have an informed conversation over it. Yeah, Sunrise, I think you're right. I think you're absolutely right about that. All right, so. And again, if you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I am Oddman105, a.k.a. The Odd One. A bit more emotional today. Not emotional, just flat out pissed <laughs> than I usually am. I do apologize for that. But again, I do thank you uh, for joining us today and thank everybody out there for joining us. Um, if you haven't done so, please do me a massive favor. Hit that like button. That helps out the channel a ton. And again, if you are new out there, thanks for joining us. But before posting anything in chat, please take a second, check the live stream's description and read the full chat rules. 
Uh, very important. We take security here very seriously, and bans are permanent. So with that being said, let's transition. Let me check my stats in OBS. Okay, we're doing good. We have a good bit rate. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we're sitting pretty. Okay, let's start this party. And again, I do apologize for being angry right now. This is a serious issue that Microsoft Xbox needs to fix. People are paying money. We're paying money for these services. But due to no fault of ours, we're getting banned. Jester Gaming, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing well. So, yeah, again, so again, I do apologize if I came off um, on a bit of a rant and a tirade, but this, again, is a very serious problem on, on Microsoft Xbox's part. This is the second time something like this has happened within the past year. They need to fix it. And again, Just a Gaming, thanks for joining us. Yeah, Pang, game on. Let's do it. Let's go make some money. So, Nov Side, what's up, man? Good to see you, brother. Thanks for joining us. And Broken is in the house. What's up, man? Thanks for joining us. Everybody. Hope you're doing. Uh, uh, hope you're doing well out there. Hope you guys are doing well. So, Dustin, I've never played Taxi Life Simulator. Excuse me, I'll have to take a look at it. Yeah, uh, Sunrise, I agree with you. They could. They absolutely could. But I, um, here's what I think Microsoft won't, because just like any other AAA, not AAA, but a multi-billion dollar company, for the same reason, and this is only my opinion, but for the same reason that uh, uh, Microsoft Xbox are uh, not using actual human beings to monitor their uh, their uh, their game servers and their uh, you know players accounts, uh, for example, the spam bot reporting uh, because they're not monitored by human beings and they're using AI. You know that that says a lot about greed, in my opinion. But you're you're absolutely right. They could totally uh, uh, implement something, anything, as something as simple as having human beings monitor accounts to make sure that people aren't inappropriately being reported. Uh, they refuse to do it because I guess it's too much it's too much work for them or they're too cheap. They don't want to invest the money. Lester, shut up. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, let's re-up and rearm. So Far Cry 6 is actually good. Far Cry 6, everything in Far Cry has been good. Everything in Far Cry that I've seen has been good. I think, as a matter of fact, even Far Cry Prim uh, Primal was pretty good. <laughs> so, I do agree with you. Hey. The Far Cry series is really good. So, Sergio, you won the car? No problem. Hey, man, congrats on that. That is an excellent... That's an excellent car, believe it or not. And guys, if you haven't won the podium car this week, you need to get it. That's if you don't already have it. I went out and won the Night Shark across all my accounts. <laughs> I picked it up on all of my accounts yesterday. Let me know if you have any questions. That is one of the best money grind vehicles in Grand Theft Auto. Hands down. Rifles. Sniper. Need any more? Need any more? Heavy. Them up. And body armor. All right, we're ready. Oh, Gamer Zero. No, the, the Night Shark is an excellent vehicle, especially for PvP. Especially for PvP. It's one of the best... It's one of the best money grind vehicles in the game. So Preston Michaelia, welcome. Thanks for joining us. So yeah, I got on a little late today because of what's happening with uh, uh, this new round of banned bot exploits that's going around the Xbox Live service. I, I was watching videos. <clears throat> I was watching... Um, videos uh, that Gilly Master had put out over the course of the past 12 hours because his account, his Xbox Live account got banned. And I was trying to get more information, research more information on exactly what happened so that we could talk about it today. So that's why I kind of got on late. So
So, Brian Sterner, you did Kyle Perico alone for the first time. Nice. How did that go for you? Kyle Perico is easy. Once you know the patterns, it's relatively easy. Okay, let's go to the Kosatka, shall we? Time to start making some money. So let's start with the Kyle Perico. And uh, let's pay ourselves first. Once Kyle Perico is done, we will do some other shenanigans. But I'm also uh, going to focus on... I want to do the uh, the Clucking Bell Farm Raid again because that's, that's just fun. Even though it doesn't pay a lot, it's fun. So we're going to do some of that. And we're going to sell some stuff. Also, I want to sell my small crate warehouse. Warehouse goods, that is. Yeah, Sunrise. I, I was watching... Uh, I think it was Gamers Nexus that put up a video on that in one of their news roundups. They put out information on a new round of speculation... of speculative... Uh, what is it? Speculative exploits that uh, uh, take advantage of vulnerabilities on both AMD and Intel CPUs. I do remember seeing that. And this, this is a new one. So, Bear Warren, you got the pink diamond? That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Surprisingly, I got the Barabons again. Rad Grizz, what's up, brother? Welcome. Good to see you. I'm doing well. How are you today? It's good to see you. Yeah, Sunrise. It is a new one that was just found. That's correct. Let's register as a Bouse. Not a boss, but a Bouse. Oops, hold it. Let me slide that over a bit. There we go. All right. So time to go make some money. Uh, so Preston, Kyle Perico is one of your favorites. Kyle Perico, um, I'm a bit bored with it because I've done it so many times. <laughs> but it's still the best single player solo player money maker in Grand Theft Auto. It is. Yeah, Dustin, I've done I've done programming of, of when I uh, studied computer science a long time ago. I did programming in C++ and C# -sharp. Oh, that was a long time ago though. All right, let's do it. And again, thank you guys so much for joining us today. I do apologize for the rant <laughs> uh, at the beginning of the stream. And that's because this is this was a, or is a very important topic that we need to talk about, that needs to be discussed, especially if you're on the Xbox platform. Oh, Doug Christie. That is, without a doubt, Pet Shop Boys. Yes. Definitely the Pet Shop Boys. One of my favorite groups from the, uh, from the 80s. And it's funny because back, in, back then, during the 80s, the Pet Shop Boys were ahead of their time. 80s and 90s, that is. They were ahead of their time. Excellent group. I think the last song they did, they put out something back in 2010. I think that was the last piece of music they put out. Uh, so, Nurse Nerd Gamer, I was in the Navy for five years. So, I got about as far as you could get in a five year period. Uh, the problem is that I suffered an injury as a result of military service and I couldn't stay in so uh, they discharged me uh, I got discharged after five years Oh, 
Okay, if I miss someone in chat at this point, I do apologize. Just trying not to get murked. So, knob side, the Navy was quite the experience. I don't regret it, but it was definitely quite the experience. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry about that. Okay, let's grab one stack of the uh, green cut grass. By the way, you will always have room in your bag for main objective. I have crafted special compartment for us. There we go. So, undisclosed unknown. Yeah, that was uh, the exact same series of hacks that took place about eight months ago on the Xbox platform. The same exact thing. So that's probably what's happening this time, and it's all happening through the Xbox, uh, the Xbox Microsoft API. All right, so let's go, go, go! And again, if I miss someone at chat at this point, I do apologize. Oh, so Preston, you were talking about the new mission? Yeah, I love it. I like it. it it's it's a different way. To do heist. And I think it's fun. I enjoy it. Even though it doesn't pay much. But I do kind of incorporate it into my money grind. Woodcroft. Hello. How's it going? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Dranko. What's up, brother? Welcome, man. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. And Dranko, yes. That's how I got stuck here in Japan. <laughs> Yeah, so Radgriz, the vehicle robberies this week are not that great. And as a matter of fact, I think it's total BS that Rockstar's not letting us claim one of the cars. On the offside, yes, the, the U.S. Navy is uh, both is all land, sea, and air. So it's not just limited to the ocean. You know, people get the wrong idea. The U.S. Navy primarily operates in the ocean, but... Uh, the Navy operates in all environments. That's land, sea, and air. Hey, Hunter Plays, congrats, bro. You got that golden buzzer? Nice. It's totally worth it, in my opinion. It's free. All right. And we are out of here. I'm surprised that dude didn't see us. <laughs> All right. Nick James, how's it going? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. So, undisclosed unknown. You are absolutely correct. That's what's happening. Again, I'll get caught up as, as soon as possible. Just trying not to get murked. So, uh, Yaving, the Golden Buzzard is a career four, a career challenge, a tier four career challenge on next gen console. And it's under businesses in the Chop Shop DLCs. And it's a career, it's a tier four career challenge. So, uh, once you uh, clear that challenge, you get the, uh, you get the Buzzard Attack Chopper plus 250k. And you get 10,000 RP. So Nick James doing well. How are you and your family? Again, it's good to see you. Uh, Radgrids is correct. You need to complete the Tier 4 challenge. Which is essentially all of them. <laughs> for, uh, for the Chop Shop DLC. Uh, Yaving, no, you cannot. Uh, the Golden Buzzard is a personal vehicle. So you can call it up as a personal vehicle.
So, no offside. The Navy is all over the place. <laughs> U.S. Navy is all over the place. Like I said, the U.S. Navy operates in all environments. Okay, I'll get caught up on chat in just a second. Just trying not to get murked. Get through this. Uh, I don't know better that uh, undetected at the clucking bell raid is tricky. We're going to try that again today, by the way. We're totally going to try it again. <clears throat> uh, Cellcraft, I couldn't agree with you more. The U.S. Navy has the best special forces on the planet. Navy SEALs are not to be messed with. <laughs> they are not to be messed with. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. And again, at this point, if I miss someone in chat, I do apologize. Just don't want to get murked out. It's not being done on purpose. I'll get caught up as soon as possible. Alright. Shotguns out. Juggy, you're going down. Let's go. Time to go murk out Juggy. Are you in? You we got something with ju for Juggy. Yeah, Gamer Zero, I agree. Going stealth is easy. Okay, murk this dude out. Uh, going stealth for the clucking bell raid, that is. Camera down. Oh, look. It's our best friend Juggy. Hi, Juggy. Ballet guy said hello. Bye, Juggy. Yeah, shut up, Juggy. We don't want to talk to you. Okay, merc this dude out. Great, we got the keys. Nice. Alright, so we need to be careful right here. Let's get a clear shot. Oh, he's dead. You got to take that guy out at the stairs. Okay, merc this dude out. And again, I'll get caught up in just a second. Shoot that dude in the face. Yeah, almost forgot for a second that I had a full bag. Okay, let's get the safe. Valkyra, what's up? How's it going? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. I only got 20,000 from the wall safe, man. This I swear this game sucks. It's not the game, it's the, it's the heist. Kyle Perico sucks. Valkyra, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, Valkyra is in the house, so be on your best behavior. Oh, so painful. So Valkyra is our unofficial official mod. So everybody, be on your best behavior. And Valkyra, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. So you're about to go to bed. Hey, well, if you need to get some sleep, you know, we'll still be here when you wake up, I think. He has a fingerprint scan here, too? All right, we followed the usual plan. Sign All right, done. There we go. Finished. Oh, Valkyra, don't... <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. And of course, as always, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for being here today. All right. Let's get the money or the Barra Bonds out of the safe. All right, 52, 16, 92, 52, 16, 92, 52, 16, 92. Let's do it. 52. We have the combination. Just take your time. 16. 
92. Give me them bearer bonds. Let's go. We're out of here. Okay, we are undetected. Let's GTFO. We're up out of here. Time to go hit this big stupid green button that's sitting on the gate that says open or exit. Alright, we got a path. Let's go. Dumbest cutscene ever. Alright, let's take a second to get caught up. Oh, G Valkyra, well, good luck on your interview today. Good luck. Ooh, Valkyra, you had a Reuben with coleslaw. I'm jealous. I love corned beef. It's not healthy, but it's good. <laughs> that's the that's the that's the good kind of unhealthy food right there. I absolutely love corned beef. A Reuben is a good sandwich, especially if it's made right. All right, here we go. We're up out of here. Three sixty. Ah, oh, nailed it. That was more like a, a 359. <laughs> that was like a 359, not quite a 360. All right, and with that being said, the Kyle Preco heist is a wrap. Let's go. That's easy over a mill. Who's out there talking about cookies? I hope you guys brought some for me. <laughs> Joker, what's up, brother? Welcome, man. Good to see you, bro. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing well, man. Good to see you. So, Zero Cool, what's up? How's it going, man? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. So, how much did we get? We got 1.1. And this is hard mode, so we got hard mode cleared. So, 1.2 mil. I'll take it. Thank you. Yeah, zero cool. That's, you know, here's the deal. That's not really a glitch. That's not really a glitch. I don't I don't consider it to be a glitch, cheat, or an exploit. Here's And here's the reason that I say that it's not a glitch. You're not... Um, uh, Stephen Greaves, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, but uh, you're not modifying your, your account, or you're not, you're not changing anything of your character, or you're not doing anything uh, like, for example, wall glitching or trying to glitch through the map or access an area that otherwise is not normally accessible under normal means. You're essentially, you know, climbing onto the roof of a building and going in first person. Those are assets. Those weapons crates and equipment crates on the roof of that building, those are assets that Rockstar forgot to remove from the game. So that's not cheating. You're not cheating, glitching, or exploiting. Now, Rockstar is probably going to patch it at some point, but I don't even remotely consider that to be a cheat. Because you're not changing, or, or you're not, first of all, you're not, uh, you're not wall glitching or anything to access an area that normally is not otherwise accessible. Um, you're not using any kind of a mod or any kind of an exploit, anything like that. Those game assets are there for a reason. So if Rockstar forgot to remove them and we can simply access them by climbing on the roof of the building and doing nothing else, go get them. So Valkyra asks if I ever had Rocky Mountain oysters. Valkyra, you don't get oysters from a mountain. Val <laughs> you don't get oysters. Oysters don't exist on a mountain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, and that is disgusting, by the way. <laughs> There, there is a such thing as mountain oysters, but oysters don't exist on a mountain. You guys are going to have to Google that if you don't know what we're talking about. 
All right, so what else have we got out here? Let's get caught up on chat before we continue. <clears throat> Uh, on the offside, yeah, I'm not going to answer that. Yeah, I'm from, originally I'm from America, I just live in Japan. Uh, Valkyra, thank you for posting that, I will pin that right now, thank you so much, let's see here. Yeah, Valk exactly. <laughs> Valkyrie, exactly. Like I said, you don't get oysters from a mountain. But some people actually do eat those, so I'm, yeah. Yeah, a cellcraft, exactly. Hope you have a strong stomach if you Google it. Just be prepared to see something that you didn't expect. Yeah, bear warned. Quite, yes, sir. Quite gross. Okay, so we're done with the Cayo Perico. Let's keep the money grind going. And let's not be an MC, shall we? <clears throat> and I hope you guys are all doing well today. Again, thanks for joining us. Uh, and I, again, I do want to apologize for starting off on kind of a uh, <laughs> an angry note because what happened with uh, Gilly Master's account on Xbox was complete BS. Complete and total BS. It's been... The better part of eight months since this band bot exploit uh, that's been going on on, on the Xbox platform uh, it has been circulating, and, and uh, Microsoft Xbox still hasn't fixed it, and it's gotten worse, apparently. So Valkyra says, odd rage compilation. <laughs> Surprisingly, I don't get too pissed off on, uh, on stream. But th this was one of those rare moments where we had to talk about this because it's a serious issue. That's affecting uh, all Xbox players. Anyone that's on the Xbox platform. Yeah, uh, Pang, you're right. It is a power club for the rich. You're not lying about that, bro. <laughs> okay, let's uh, visit our employee of the year, Miss Big Bodacious Booyayas. Yeah, Gamer Zero, exactly. He got banned for absolutely no reason. Nothing that he did. What's happening is that his his uh, Xbox account, his live account, is the subject of a banned bot exploit. It's a ban it's a banned bot exploit. Someone spam reporting his account, which no one can do. You can't spam report someone's account if you're only on the Xbox platform. But he may have been partied with someone else. And like I explained earlier, if uh, you just happen to be, if you're on Xbox and you, you're in a party, in, a, in an Xbox party with someone on PC that's using uh, whatever API or whatever app this is to capture your data, your, uh, your, your, your uh, gamer tag, for example, they can use this application to initiate a botnet attack on your account and basically uh, spam report your account to the Xbox services, which will result in suspensions and a ban. It is complete and total BS because Xbox, uh, these this multi-billion dollar gaming company, they don't have the resources to hire actual human beings to monitor accounts. That's complete BS. So what's up, girl? How are you today? And keep them glasses on or you're going to need them. Give me some crates. Oh, the warehouse is full. Okay, well, I mean, since you got some free time, I can help you with that shirt and them jeans. I forgot, this warehouse is completely full. Yeah, that was my employee of the year. So dang it, we don't get to watch her walk out. Man, that sucks. I'm disappointed. I was so going to follow her out of the... Uh, <laughs> I was going to follow her out of the uh, warehouse. Yeah, Rad Grizz. It's full. Oh yeah, she full. <laughs> she got that t-shirt full. Yeah, uh, Gamer Zero. A one-year ban. Nothing that he did. Nothing. He did nothing wrong. Maximum Carnage. What's up, brother? Welcome. Good to see you. We were just talking about this. Uh, 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 for context, Maximum Carnage, if you haven't done so, check Gilly Master's channel. Uh, he put out two videos within the past 12 hours. 
of his Xbox Live account getting banned for a year. His Xbox account got banned for a year because of some botnet attack or banned bot attack. It's not necessarily a botnet attack, but it kind of operates that way. Someone was spam reporting his account and he unfortunately got his, his account was banned as a result of it. For absolutely, exactly, Gamer Zero, for no reason. And it sucks. This is why so many people, uh, whether they're on PlayStation or on PC, this is why so many people on other platforms hate on the Xbox because of stupidity like this. It's stupidity. So Valkyra, did he just post an update eight minutes ago? I'm probably going to have to check it on uh, during the stream. Yeah, he got 21 flags in 12 hours. What the hell is that? What is that? Hey, give me some crates. Sure. That really pisses me off. It does. Yeah, well, Maximum Carnage. I had to put out a notification, and as a matter of fact, I'll probably put out a community uh, post later on tonight uh, just informing everyone that un until Microsoft Xbox can get their heads out of their butts and stop smelling their farts over this, until they can stop smelling their own farts, um, I'm not going to be hosting any sessions. I'll be in an invite-only session, period. And I'm not hosting for anyone until they get this figured out. That is complete and total BS. Yeah, Dranko, I don't blame you, bro. I don't blame you at all. So that, I mean, it's to, it's so bad right now that we're at the point where I'm considering getting a PlayStation. I'm considering buying a PlayStation 5 just to get out of the Xbox ecosystem because there's something fundamentally wrong with a multi-billion dollar company that can't keep its gamers safe. They want us to continue to pay money. They want us to continue to pay money for their online services, but they can't protect us as players, as users and as consumers of their online service. Yeah, it does sound like a lawsuit. I'm telling you, I swear, if enough people get uh, are affected by this, that's a class action lawsuit right there. I'm not, I'm not a legal expert or anything like that, but to me, this sounds like something that they could be sued over. So, Woodcroft, um, I only sell my large crate warehouses when uh, they're, well, first of all, when they're full and uh, on double cash. I don't sell... A large crate warehouse is on single cash. How you doing? How's it going? So we have... There's space in here for one more crate somewhere. Where? I got space? Yeah. All right, go get the crate, buddy. Apparently, I got space somewhere in here. Later. So there are two specialty items. Where? I, don't, I got space in here? Where? I don't see any space. Oh, it's over there. Okay. So there are three more spots available in this warehouse. Okay. Yeah, Maximum Carnage. Xbox don't care. You're right. You're right. Xbox don't care. They just don't care. They take your money, they expect you to use their service, and that's pretty much it. So, Woodcroft, uh, I am far less likely to get raided, uh, or my warehouses are far less likely to get raided. Uh, as long as I'm not a CEO. Uh, because remember, your your uh, crate warehouses are linked to uh, your CEO being a CEO. Excuse me, are linked to being a CEO, and uh, because I mostly operate managing my businesses as an MC. Uh, if you're an MC, your CEO crate warehouses will not get raided, and vice versa. However, uh, whether you're a CEO or an MC, uh, your nightclub, your air freight cargo. And the bunker, your gun running bunker, can all be raided, regardless of which one of those two you register as. Hey, Lupe, how's it going, girl? Hi. 
You need to get some tight clothes. What's up with that? It's done. No problem. Oh, and I love her voice. Yeah, Joker. Exactly. That's what's happening on Xbox right now. It is. It's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. Like I said, Gilly Master is a good. He's a good. He's a good content creator. He didn't deserve that. Well, I mean, seriously. It takes an actual human being to monitor someone's account, to, or to monitor these accounts and determine whether or not they're being <clears throat> they're being uh, uh, spam reported for absolutely no reason because there's no physical way that any one player could receive that number of uh, reports in in one hour's time, even within 20 minutes time. And it would take an actual human being to look and see, well, this is a spam bot attack. We need to do something about this. Joe Beth, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Joe Beth. Hopefully, I have to check. I understand he just posted an update. I want to see it. I want to see it. I haven't seen it yet. I did watch his latest video before going live about uh, just about an hour ago. Okay, so we're done here. All right, we need to keep the money grind going. Let's, uh... All right. Let's start the, uh... I was going to say Union Depository. We can do Union Depository later. But let's start the, um... Clucking Bell Farm Raid, shall we? Just because it's fun. Okay, so where is the Vinewood Police Station? Right down the street. Ace, what's going on, brother? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. And no problem, man. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. I know you're busy. I know you're busy. No problem at all, but it's good to see you. Okay. Let's take a second to get caught up. Yeah, Maximum Carnage, I agree. Xbox needs to come out and make a public statement on that, and they need to fix their reporting, their their ban process, or whatever, whatever they want to call it. Um, they, they call it their TOS. They need to fix all of that because that's a bunch of BS right there. It is. Innocent players are being, are having their accounts banned, accounts that they're paying money for. And now you're telling me that they can't use something that they paid for because they're being spam bot reported. That's a bunch of BS. Dom, shut up. I don't want to talk to you. So Valkyra says, bruh. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it, it's true. Valk uh, not Valkyr, but uh, Lupe's clothing is too bag. They're too baggy. <laughs> Rockstar needs to change Lupe's clothing. Come on, put some tight stuff on her. What is this? If Miss Red Shirt can walk around with that red shirt and those jeans, they could do the same thing for Lupe. What's wrong with that? So Valkyra says she just has. <laughs> She just has a temper right now. Don't worry about that. We all trust me, Valkyra. We all have a temper right now. All right, let's do it. Slush fun. <clears throat> so Dranko, that happened to you? Seriously? So your Twitch payment got delayed, bro. They need to fix that. So, Xerex, hey, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you're doing well. Super Heavy, confirm. Let's do this. Yeah, Rad Grizz, Lupe, I love her voice. I absolutely love her voice. Like I said, Rockstar did her wrong. She needs to get some new clothes. Yeah, Doug, I agree. Lupe needs a bikini. <laughs> At a minimum... At a minimum, she needs some skinny pants or something. Alright. Johnny on the spot. Hey, Callum Dean, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> welcome to the channel. Good to see you. So, we want the armored Kudama. Guru, hey, stranger, what's going on, brother? Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing well, man. Good to see you. 
But ladies and gentlemen, Guru is in the house, one of our long-term channel members. Welcome, brother. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Sparks, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. And hey, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Uh, our growth is because of each and every one of you guys out there. So thank you guys so much. My car better be out there. Otherwise, I'm going to be pissed. Meet me at the bar. What's going on? Go. No, I don't want to meet you at the bar. Shut up. Get out of the way. Get away from my car. All right. And yes, there's blood on my license plate now. I only hit the dude once. Why is there blood on my license plate? What's that all about? All right. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother trying to speed run this. Uh, because the best way to do it is with either the Hakachu Drag or the uh, the Vigilante. I don't have either one of those vehicles, so I'm not going to bother trying to speed run it. Boop. Okay, I'll get caught up in just a second. Nailed it. And I love this car. They did not need that street light. Let's go. Out of the way. Yeah, give me just one second, I'll get caught up. <laughs> Man, I love driving this car. Alright, here we go again. Headshot. Headshot. Alright. So. He's finally dead now. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. Okay, there's going to be one more walking in. Let's wait a second. There he is. He's on the map, at least. Give it a second. All right, he's dead. Always remember, floor money is good money. <laughs> so someone asked, why don't I buy the Vigilante or the... Yeah, I just don't have a use for them. And that's because I have the Toreador. The Toreador, to me, is a better vehicle than the Vigilante. The difference is that the Vigilante can be used during certain missions, where the Toreador cannot. Dan Red, what's up, brother? Welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Oh, yeah? Hold on a second. Did we? Okay, hold on one second. Just give me one second. I'm just reviewing chat. Hey, Tumalo, welcome, brother. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Just taking a second, I need to review chat.
Okay, zero cool. Sorry I missed your comment. Uh, the last two updates for the with the salvage yard, I think they were okay. They could have been better. Okay. So Valkyra, nothing harmful, but nothing nice. Do you know who this person, you know this person's name? Because I'll take care of that right now. Okay, thank you. Hold on. Give me one second. Just give me one second here. I need to go through chat. Okay. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's keep an eye on it. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's continue. Right in the face. All right, let's go. Oops. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, Gilly, <clears throat> excuse me, David Bach, welcome, brother. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Sorry I missed you earlier. But, yeah, we were just talking about that. As I understand it, Gilly Master just posted an update. I haven't seen his updated video just yet. Man, this thing is slippery today. But, yeah, we've been talking about the situation... Uh, since the beginning of, live, of the live stream and it's ridiculous and like I said Xbox they need to start or, or get their heads out of their butts and stop smelling their own farts on this one and do something about that problem Go, that's the wrong weapon. Boom, taking them headshots. Who else wants some? Shot him right in the foot. Okay. Rinse and repeat. Let's do it. Yeah, Xerox, exactly. Uh, but we got to understand something. This is the second time. This is the second time in less than a year that these exploits have taken place on Xbox, and I'm pretty pissed about it. The 
So, uh, Callum Dean, what's happening is that uh, there is a, uh, a ban bot exploit that's going on on the Xbox Live's on the Xbox Live uh, network infrastructure. Basically, uh, what's happening is that uh, some players are getting spam reported uh, to Xbox services, and they're being banned. They're receiving suspensions and bans for nothing that they've done. So that's what's happening. And Gilly Master just got an, a one-year suspension on his Xbox Live account. Yeah, and exactly. David Bach. That's exactly why I'm thinking about buying a PlayStation now. So, the only thing I can suggest, for all of us at least, anyone that plays on the Xbox, and even the PlayStation, because I think that the same thing can happen on PlayStation, uh, although it's probably not happening now, the only thing that I recommend that we do is not join parties. Because that's how the, uh, the the exploit took place last time. Yeah, we're just going to run that dude over. All right, let's go. You see, here's the deal. I don't have, <coughs> excuse me, I don't have the $500 to be spending on brand new consoles. And here it is, the uh, PlayStation itself has reached uh, what they said, the, the latter half of its service life. And that's coming from uh, Sony PlayStation CEO. So I don't think it's a good idea to go out and even buy a PlayStation right now. But it's not like I got that kind of money in the first place because I don't. And then you're talking about having to buy all the games over again. That's a huge financial investment. Shortcut. Uh, they were totally in my way right there. That was their fault. There we go, problem solved. Excuse me. Yeah, I just had to sneeze. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh. I just had to sneeze. All right, let's get caught up. So, Xerox, the last time you were on Xbox was the 360. The, the Xbox 360 was the best Xbox generation. It was. And Draco, yeah, don't even get me started on how Rockstar doesn't care about PC people. Rockstar, Rockstar Games is the gift that keeps on giving. Okay, so how are we for... Let's see here. Health and ammo, body armor. Okay, we're good. And what I will do, since I'm closer, preferences, let's set this to agency. And transfer. Since my agency is closer to the Vinewood police station, I can simply go down the street and uh, start the next mission. So that's what we'll do. Uh, Callum Dean, that stupid reporting button works a little too well. The problem is that, uh, okay, so <clears throat> long story short, what's happening is that if you're on the Xbox, uh, because both the Xbox and the PlayStation allow you to stream your game data straight to your PC. So you can literally play games, your, your console games. Uh, you can play console games on your PC. And uh, that's done through an API an application program interface. Uh, but the Xbox has a native API called the uh, Xbox uh, Game Pass, not Game Pass, I'm sorry, the Xbox, uh, Xbox uh, Console Companion. 
and the Xbox Smart Glass. Uh, that allows you to log in to the, uh, the Xbox uh, network from your PC, from a Windows PC. Okay, the problem is that Windows PCs, uh, some, you know, can have mod menus or uh, nefarious software, third-party apps that allow players to capture your Xbox information, like your gamer tag. So what's happening is that if you join a party, an Xbox Live party with a player who just happens to have this API running in the background, and they're on PC, they can grab your gamer tag and then spam report your Xbox Live account. That's probably what happened to Gilly Master. So what's happened is that Gilly Masters just got, uh, he, he got a one-year ban, a one-year suspension on his Xbox Live account. So that's what's happening. And that seems like what's ha what happened before. So Armando Forisi, welcome to the channel. Good to see you. Thanks, what's, uh, thanks for joining us. And basically, that's what's happening. That's what's happening on the Xbox. As, and like I said, as a result of that, I mentioned this earlier, but I want to mention it again. Until Microsoft Xbox can get their heads out of their butts and stop smelling their own farts and do something about this problem. Until they do something about this problem, I will not be hosting any more sessions, whether they're crew sessions or otherwise. And I absolutely will not host sessions for randoms. Okay, so what's going on, Choppy? Uh, is the stream every okay for everyone? I'm looking at OBS right now, and the the bit rate seems fine to me. Everything seems fine on my end. I would like to uh, request that if you're seeing problems. Oh, you're talking about the dog. Okay, Chop. <laughs> is did we see Chop? Is Chop in here? Hold on a minute. Yeah, Chop's probably on the bed. Hold on a second. No, he's not. Chop could be out for a walk. Since we have to go downstairs anyways, we'll check on him. <laughs> no problem. No big deal. Okay, so we got snacks. <clears throat> yeah, maximum carnage. That's a good question. Uh, apparently... <clears throat> Apparently, uh, I'm not sure if it's a result of him joining a party. That's how the old band bot exploit worked. So it could be something as simple as well. And even Gilly Master himself says that he doesn't use he doesn't use chat. He doesn't use party chat. So the only other way I can think of him having a problem with this is that somebody got, uh, grabbed his his gamer tag and began spam reporting it. That's the only way I can see someone have, even have having um enacted this kind of an exploit on his account. So what you looking for? Okay, machine guns. Yeah, gotta load up. And body armor. All right, let's go. Need any more? <laughs> Stay strapped. So you love that sign, gone fishing? <laughs> But yeah, uh, like I mentioned, until Microsoft Xbox can can literally extract their craniums from their rectums and stop smelling their own farts, uh, we're not going to be able to host any kind of crew sessions here. Yeah, uh, Callum Dean, exactly. That's what's been happening. That's what's been happening. But Gilly Master doesn't do any of that stuff. And, and in fact, uh, most players don't. So... What's happening is that, and this again, this is my understanding of exactly how this uh, exploit works, is that if you if you party up, or if uh, some bad actor has seemingly somehow gotten a hold of your gamer tag and you're in a party with them, then they can spam report. They, they can use software to spam report your account, and that's how people are getting suspensions and bans. Yeah, was was Chop even here? I think Chop. Hold on a minute. I think he's is he up in the office? Stay safe, boss. Nope, chops out for a walk. All right, we'll see him the next time we come through. Let's go. I'll be here. We got some money to make. Let's do it. And everybody should understand that this is not a Grand Theft Auto problem. This is not Rockstar's problem. This is not Grand Theft Auto's fault. This is clearly a problem with uh, the Microsoft Xbox infrastructure. 
their Xbox Live infrastructure, and they need to solve that problem. Yeah, Gamer Zero, exactly. This is a Microsoft Xbox problem. This has nothing to do with Grand Theft Auto. Absolutely nothing. Tomboy, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing well. Hey, it's me. That was a lucrative effort. The first leg of which I'll get to work on right now. Can I have two number nines? Number six extra dip. All right, let's go. Oh, Radquiz, exactly. That's exactly what it is. And the problem, the problem is that it, this can happen at any time. It can happen at any time to anyone. That's why we need to be extra careful. I almost didn't have... I almost didn't host a live stream today because of what's happened on Xbox. Alright, Johnny on the spot. You're still fired for putting my car away. Sending the relevant coordinates to you. Alright. Oh, mechanic... I can bring them around. I'll get back to it then. I gotta wait 19 seconds. Mechanic, you suck. So, I like shrimps. Welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. But yeah, the uh, uh, Callum Dean, exactly. I don't play in public sessions anymore because it's not worth it. But in this particular case, with this Bandbot exploit, this is not this is not a Rockstar problem. It's not a Grand Theft Auto problem. This is something clearly localized to the the Microsoft uh, live service environment. Johnny, on the spot, you suck. I'm on the clock. What you want? Some wheels? It's coming at you. So, Tomboy, absolutely yes, yes. Yeah, so here's the deal. I'm, I might have to buy the Ignis today. I, I might just buy the weaponized Ignis. This is not the regular Ignis that we're talking about. This is the weaponized Ignis that you can get Imani Tech. So I might just buy the Ignis. And I'm talking about the, the, the Ignis that's over at the LS Car Meet, the one with HSW that's already on it. We I might just buy it. I might. I haven't decided yet. All right. Let's go to, to uh, <laughs> let's go to Del Perro and merc this dude out. And steal somebody's laptop. So Hunter plays HSW, not Imani Tech. I think, I think you can get uh, Imani Tech on it. I think. Again, I'm not sure. And the reason I'm not sure about it is that uh, you can't get the weaponized Ignis on old gen. And I'm and I usually make a lot of my content on old gen. Nailed it. But even without it, it's still worth it. It's got a, it's got a freaking cannon on it. It's got a machine gun on it. Plus HSW. Okay, so Gamer Zero, thank you. So it doesn't have a Monitech, Tech, but it's got HSW. I still might buy it. It's the fastest supercar in the game with HSW. What's there not to like about that? Oops. <laughs> Nurse Nerd Gamer, good question. So I would say that humanitarians eat hummus. But <laughs> All right. So Vincent sends the picture. What is this guy? All right, he's uh, playing video games. Of course, the fat lady standing next to a hot dog stand, right? Oh, you stole me a drink. Oh, shit! 
Man, get out of the way. I actually hate this part because we gotta find this dude. Yeah, Woodcroft, exactly. Not the PC. Found him. Oh, he's dead. Let's get the laptop and get out of here. <laughs> no, you got and Valkyra. You can't tell me you didn't see that fat lady standing next to the hot dog stand, right? That's the last place she needs to be. All right, let's go. So, Tomboy, are you on PC or console? As far as I can tell, console has no service outage. But uh, getting back to Tomboy's uh, question, absolutely. The, uh, the, the, Ignis is, the weaponized Ignis, at least, is worth it, in my opinion. It makes a good money grind vehicle. Yeah, that person, what the? That person ran right into me. Get out of here. So, a Callum D, the three cars for this week are the Eudora, the Z type, and. What is it? The Wagner. Those are the three cars for this week. The problem is that none of the cars are claimable this event week. They're not claimable, and Rockstar screwed us again. They did. First of all, let me give a shout-out to everybody out there in chat right now. We've got 81 people watching. Let's freaking go. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for coming in clutch for the channel today. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys. Okay, not over here. Found it. You can actually hear the stupid uh, drones. Okay, so we got to go around the other side. All right. What's that, Valkyra? Sometimes you forget you're 18. Valkyra, I remember what it was like to be 18. So hold on one second. Let's take care of this. Because I don't want to get blown up. There we go. Yeah, uh, Dan, exactly. Or, or, or Dustin, yeah. I remember what it was like to be 18. Those were the days. Good times back then. Oh. Okay, that one was a suicider. Ran right into me. Is that it? No, one left. Okay, 
So what's that, Dan? You'll be 41? Man, you're still young, bro. You're still young. You're talking to somebody right now who's well in his 50s. So don't worry about that, bro. You're good. <clears throat> Yeah, and a happy birthday to Dan. <laughs> Absolutely. But seriously, thank you guys so much for coming in clutch today. We got 81 people watching. You guys rock. Let's freaking go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's steal this guy's gun. Get the hacking device. Oh, yeah, Matthew, of course. We always, we're always old here. You know that's how we do it. <laughs> Let's go. We no longer have access to the train we used last time, so we'll need another one. Coordinates with you now. You'll just need to find the keys. So what's that? I like shrimps. You're about yeah. We're we're about the same age. <laughs> we're about the same age, bro. That's freaking awesome. And what's cool is that we have a relatively mature community here, and I think that's one of the reasons why we're so uh, chill and laid back. And like I said, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much. All right, let's go steal a train. Oops. Totally made a wrong turn. Shortcut. Nailed it. <laughs> so what's that Gamer Zero? You turned 36 this year? Nice, man. Happy. Now, happy birthday to you. Early happy birthday, that is. Trust me, I remember what it was like to be 36. And I thought that I was hitting a midlife crisis when I turned 36 and then realized... I, I think about being 36 now and it's like, what? Seriously? Man, I swear I just shot that dude square in the head. What is this all about? All right, that's better. Alright, somebody's got to have this key somewhere. There's the key. So, Jose, you're 27? Nice, man. Don't forget, floor money is good money. So, Bear Warren, 42, nice. Yeah, we got some OGs out there. That's what I'm talking about. Again, if I miss someone in chat, I'm not ignoring anyone on purpose. I'm just trying not to get murked. Because getting murked is embarrassing. All right, let's go. Now we get to steal a train for the first time in 10 years. <laughs> so Valkyrie, you can't celebrate New Year's in a bar until 2027. Yeah, that, that's true. Uh, here's the funny thing, Valkyrie. If you were here in Japan, you'd be able to do it in 2026 because the, the legal drinking age in Japan is 20.
So Maximum Carnage, it's different. It's definitely different. It's a fun place to live, but you just got to keep a good head on your shoulders and not do anything stupid. So Ken Wilkin, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Ah, uh, Dranko, that is true. I agree. Uh, it does suck. I don't drink. I don't drink alcohol, so, I mean, that's just me. I don't get the thrill, but uh, I've never been... I've never been a drinker, and I don't drink alcohol at all anymore, so... Uh, that's just my thing. Cellcraft, welcome back. All right. Done. And guys, if you haven't done so, please do me a massive favor. Hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. Yeah, Callum, exactly. All we had to do, CJ, was follow the darn train. <laughs> it only took Rockstar a decade to allow us to steal a train in the game. But I guess better late than never, right? Uh, Gamer Zero, true. It is. It is. Uh, the deal is, is that I know my personality. Preferences. Okay, let's go back to the agency, shall we, as I punch the air. I know my personality, and I know that I have an addictive personality. So, I'm not someone who could only have one drink and be satisfied. You know, I'd, I'd have to try to drink everybody under the table, and I don't drink very well. That's why I stopped a long time ago. Now, now to be clear, I've had alcohol before, but I uh, learned at a very young age that I just did not like alcohol, so I never got into it, and I stopped a long time ago. I stopped in my, I stopped drinking alcohol even before I was at the legal age. <laughs> so. Uh, maximum carnage, that is true. That is true. Like I said, in general, that would that would be true. As long as you're not disrespectful, or you, or uh, if uh, you know people, Western Western people come to Japan, that is, uh, and not act like complete idiots, then yeah, Japan is a very welcoming country. All right, let's re up and rearm, shall we? I think I got good snacks. Yeah, we're good. Let's pick up some body armor. One and only. Yeah, Joker. Uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we could. You're right. We could. Yeah, I I never really started. I never started. I I had it. I tried alcohol even before uh, the legal age and said, yeah, this ain't for me. So I, I just gave up on it. Never started. Plus, and like I said, I know my personality. I have an addictive personality, and I know exactly what kind of a person I would be if I started and couldn't control it. So that's why I never started. Body armor. All right, let's go. Zerix says, let's pick up Imani. I can't even get out of the office. What's going on here? Okay. Keep your eyes open. So what's Imani doing right now? She's uh, chilling at her desk with those nice All good. Uh, leopard pattern pants, I guess. Them tight leopard pattern pants. Jeez, girl. Ciao. All right. Exactly. No snacks, just Imani. I'm all good. Hey, <laughs> no argument for me. All right, let's go. All right, Johnny on the spot. You're fired. Uh, mechanic. There we go. And hope you guys are all doing well. We are on the money grind. Matthew says clip it 4K. Yes, sir. Huh? Money rides? Let me know. 
We're still in the money grind. We're running through the Clucking Bell Farm Raid for uh, not so quick 500k, but it's 500k that we can add to our money grind. We just finished the Cayo Perico for 1.2 mil. This will be an extra 500k. That's not my car. Vincent, what do you want? The train you acquired has been discreetly relocated into storage, where it will remain until the day of the raid. Things are coming together. Next on the to-do list, acquiring weapons and gear, or the getaway vehicle, your choice. Okay, now I will say that I want to see... Yeah, Gamer Zero, cut grass, that's right. It's all about them grass clippings. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Time to go rake the yard. That's what they're calling it these days. Raking the yard. I do want to see if that weapons cache is still on top of the roof of that building. So we're going to try that today. I want to see if Rockstar patched it yet. Okay. Settings. Let's do it. All right, so let's see if Rockstar actually patched this. And again, thank you guys so much for joining us today. If you haven't done so, please do me a massive favor and hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. All right, so let's go. Let's hop over the fence or jump this wall. Climb this roof. Uh, yeah, uh, Gamer Zero, that's correct. Japan has strict laws. And to give you an idea of exactly how strict Japan is, and, you know, strict in the sense that they take their laws very seriously, um, Japan has a 95, 90 or 95% conviction rate. It's a 90 or 95% conviction rate. So if you get caught up in the legal system here, you're probably going to go to jail. So that's what I mean when you say you got to have a good head on your shoulders and just keep your head about you and not do anything stupid. Like most people wouldn't do anything stupid, you'll be good to go. All right. Those are our targets, but we won't need to do that. Let's uh, see what happens here. I don't know if Rockstar patched this. Okay, first person, parkour. Oh, I'm dizzy now. Okay. They didn't patch it. Okay, so that's one weapon crate. And that's one... Okay, one weapon crate, crate excuse me, and one uh, equipment crate. Uh, nurse, nerd, gamer, exactly, like Singapore. In Singapore, they don't play either. They don't play either. But yeah, uh, Dan Red, yeah, uh, Japan has about a 95% conviction rate, so as long as you don't get caught up in the, the uh, system, then you should be pretty good. There we go, couldn't climb down a ladder. Okay, so as we can see, that's not patched. Uh, so, Tomboy, I posted a video on this last week. Alright, so that's one set of equipment. Weapons, check. Let's rinse check. and repeat. Check. And you can do this for three sets of weapons and two sets of equipment. Uh, Callum Dean, Dubai, yes. I'll tell you what, Callum Dean, I will never, ever go to the Middle East. Any, Regardless, even if it's a friendly Middle Eastern country, I won't do it. I won't do it. Do you talk about strict laws where they cut off body parts? If you if you do something wrong, they cut off hands and feet. No, thank you. Nope. I want no part of that. <laughs> All right, let's rinse and repeat. Parkour. Okay, you got that weapons crate. Let's grab that. There should be one more crate of uh, of weapons, I think. There we go. So, equipment's on this side of the building. Weapons are on that side. So we have one more set. 
I don't see how people can play this game in first person. My goodness. I'm getting sick. Yeah, Callum D, you know what I'm talking about. Never. Nope. Not going there. They, they cut off body parts. I want no part of that. Uh, Gamer Zero, yes sir. Um, cut grass is 100% illegal in Japan. So let's say, for example, you're someone in America who has, who can legally have med uh, medicinal, medicinal cut grass. You can get it for medical reasons. That they don't care about that over here. You get caught with that stuff coming through uh, immigration and customs, you're going to jail. Now I'm sure you won't go to jail immediately. They'll ask you some questions about it. <laughs> and let you know that it's illegal to have that stuff in Japan and chances are if you dispose of it at that point you'll, you'll be okay but if you get caught with any of that stuff it's an automatic prison sentence parkour there we go so I think there's one more cache of weapons over here that we can grab I think. Okay, if not, then that's fine. Because sometimes there's two, sometimes there's only, uh, there's three, sometimes there's one. It depends. There we go. There it is. Uh, Callum D, yes, there are. Uh, game centers are still popular here in Japan. Yes. Uh, and it depends. There are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of pachinko, pachinko parlors in Japan, uh, which are really popular, but there are also basic game centers where, like arcades th that you would see in the States. Those still exist here. All right, let's go. Done. No drama, it's done. Let's go. So, Dranko, good question. A good day for a young couple is literally just going out and enjoying the weather. Going out and enjoying the weather, especially this time of year when the cherry blossoms are, bro are blooming. And, of course, my allergies are, are, are going completely ballistic, as if you guys can't tell. Okay, that's it. So we have all of our equipment. So Arman Rosas asks, First of all, welcome to the channel. Good to see you. And you ask, I've seen the salvage yard car that can't be claimed this week. Is that right? Uh, yeah, that's correct. Um, here's the deal, and if, I'm not sure if anybody else knows this. I think Gamer Zero and uh, Joker uh, know this, but uh, when the new event week was updated, and, and for example, when the Rockstar decided that to implement the tunables for the new event week, within that first two minutes of the update, if anyone had logged on to GTA and gone to the salvage yard property, then the Wagner, which is the third vehicle on the jobs board, was claimable if they had started the mission immediately. But apparently that was a mistake because Rockstar did, had no intention for, of this week of releasing a claimable vehicle. So theoretically there are no claimable vehicles for this week, but some people were, were able to get the Wagner as a claimable vehicle because they logged in. Because they logged in like right after the, uh, the, the weekly update. And I'm talking like within the first two minutes of the weekly update. Yeah, uh, Gamer Zero, yeah, it is BS. Complete and total BS. Uh, Tomboy, yeah, it can be done. It can be done, yeah, it can be done. And I would recommend, there are videos on how to do it. I don't gamble. <laughs> I don't gamble, whether in real life or in GTA. So my guess is obviously going to be at the um, at the Diamond Casino, but there are ways to manipulate 
uh, the gambling at the casino. For example, blackjack, uh, the blackjack tables, it can be done. But yeah, it can totally be done. But yeah, you can easily make a mill. You can make more than a mill at the uh, Diamond Casino by gambling uh, in one day. Okay, so we have our equipment, as you guys can see. Hey, uh, Armand, no problem, brother. No problem at all. Okay, let's call Vincent or text Vincent. So, weapons. So, we want... So, you've got the compact rifle, the compact pistol, or combat pistol, excuse me, mini SMG, crowbar, molotovs. And, yeah, let's go with the gang outfit, or the gang weapons. And the gear... Uh, the gear we can do professional. Received. And confirm. Alright, let's go. Matrix, what's up, brother? Welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today, bro. Hope you're doing well. So what's that, Dranko? Gambling in Red Dead is easy. I need to get Red Dead Redemption 2. I need to get that game, and it's actually on sale right now, so I don't really have an excuse. I just don't have time to play it. And to give you guys an example, I went out, I bought uh, Elite Dangerous, Elite Dangerous Odyssey back in uh, uh, December, <laughs> uh, when it was on sale over Christmas. I bought, it was dirt cheap, it was like 15 bucks for the whole thing. Even though it's a live service game, I like space games and exploration games, but I haven't tried it yet because I just haven't had a chance to play it. Then I began watching videos, excuse me, watching videos on Elite Dangerous, and that game scares the crap out of me. <laughs> that is one of the most complex video games I've ever seen. And Dranko says, Elite Dangerous sucks. I, and like I said, Dranko, the only reason I bought it is because it was 15 bucks. I didn't pay full price for it. Good job. So, Tomboy, you tried the slots and lost 100k? Ouch. Uh, try the black... Well, actually, uh, Tomboy, I recommend watching some videos on it, but try the blackjack table. I think you might have better luck. Oh, uh, yeah, Radgris, exactly. Try the blackjack table, or blackjack table. So, uh, a Nurse Nerd Gamer, Kerbal Space Program, the original Kerbal Space Program, is really fun. This Kerbal Space Program 2 on, in early access is a complete and total mess. All right, let's go uh, back to the agency, shall we? Let's uh, telewarp. Not telework, but telewarp. That reminds me, I need to stop by my bunker and make sure that I've got it fully supplied. So let's take a quick stop. Let's make a quick pit stop over at the bunker and order supplies. My uh, asset lab is okay. I've got everything I need over there, but let's go to the bunker and order some more supplies because I know I'm all out. So what are you guys talking about? Fruity Pebbles? Man, that sounds good. I used to... I loved Fruity Pebbles as a kid. So, Valkyra, you like... <laughs> hey, Frosted Mini Wheats are good. Frosted Mini Wheats are good. You know, you guys know what I liked I liked to eat as a kid was the, uh, the wheat checks. Because they had different uh, brands of the checks. I used to love the wheat checks. And that's because you could literally take wheat checks, add peanuts, uh, eat peanuts, walnuts, etc., a little bit of butter to them, stick them in the oven, and you could literally make like a snack food out of it. Like you could add like mini pretzels to it. That stuff was good. But uh, I like the wheat checks. Joker, that's a good point. I could do it at the arcade. I totally forgot that I've got the master control terminal. All right, let's log in. <laughs> I, you know, I bought the master control terminal, but I never use it. That's a very good point. Uh, let's see. Let's order some supplies. 
Done. But yeah, Joker, that's a very good point. <laughs> Nurse Nerd Gamer says, oat brand tastes like an ore. Uh, you know, it's an acquired taste. I guess because I'm older, I don't mind eating it. I don't mind eating it. I, and, and Nurse Nerd Gamer, I'll eat the crap out of some granola. Yes. Yes, please. Give me some granola. Okay, let's uh, get out of here. Let's go back to the agency. Let's not be a CEO. All right, let's go. Okay, Valkyra. G uh, grits all day long. Yeah, I agree with Draco. Grits all day long. Yes, grits. I like oatmeal, but I'll take a nice bowl of grits with, a, with some butter, with a, a nice side of butter and some bacon. And some scrambled eggs all day long. Yes. Hey, Cellcraft. I actually remember French Toast. Why am I at the arcade? Why are we even here? <laughs> Agency. Thank you. <laughs> Joker said arcade and we, went, we ended up at the arcade. Okay. Got it. Yeah, drink exactly. Grits with butter and cheese and a side of bacon and some uh, some scrambled eggs. Yes, sir. Sign me up. I'll take grits all day long. And Dan Red, yes, grits with some scrambled eggs. But you got to cook them grits just right. You got to cook them just right. I I hate I swear. <laughs> no one could make a, a a a thing of grits like my grandmother could. She could burn in the kitchen. She could really throw down in the kitchen, and I miss it. But you got to cook them grits just right. Oh, Valkyra, I remember you tell you're telling us about that, where you can't eat. Uh, you're not. You get uh, sick with eggs. Ah, uh, where's my car? No, I love grits, grits and eggs all day long. Yes, please. Where's my car? So, Cellcraft, your ex-mother-in-law made some excellent grits, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, my my mom, uh, when she was still alive, my grandmother, when she was alive, they could burn in the kitchen. And yes, they made some mean grits. I absolutely love grits. But you got to cook them just right. So Zarix says sunny side up. Hey, I'll take eggs sunny side up too with some grits. It doesn't matter to me as long as I have a side of eggs with my grits. I don't care. Give me some eggs and bacon with my grits. Oh, Valkyra, you're always invited, of course. Just be aware that there might be eggs sitting next to the grits. So you might want to be careful with that. All right, let's do hit and run. <laughs> Yeah, Joker, I went to <laughs> You mentioned arcade, and I ended up at the arcade. That's pretty funny. All right, let's do it. Confirm. Let's get our vehicle, shall we? And we're going after... It doesn't matter which uh, uh, getaway car we have. Uh, so let's go after the military convoy. Uh, that one, I think, is going to be the easiest. But first, let me make sure I have... I don't have any. Okay, hold it. Service vehicles. So I have no options to become a boss. Okay. I got to restart this mission. Hold on a second. I got to restart that mission. So Callum Dean. Uh, grits are basically ground corn soaked in lime. So if you if you Google grits, it'll pop up. But grits are basically a grit is basically a, a, a grits are corn, just regular corn, soaked in lime, 
in their ground up uh, to make some kind of a, exactly, Valkyra, thank you, to ground up to make some kind of a porridge when they're cooked over an open flame. And I'm telling you, add a little bit of salt, some butter, a little bit of pepper. I, whoo, grits, are, that's some good eating right there. Good eating. The funny thing about grits is that what a lot of people don't realize is that grits were depression food a long time ago. Especially for a lot of uh, Midwestern American families. Even my family. We, we weren't Midwestern. We were East Coast. You know, when there was... When there was nothing in the in the uh, the uh, the pantry to eat, you had a box of grits right there. You could eat for a week on a box of grits. I'm telling you. And again, Stephen Greaves, welcome to the channel, brother. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. So you're hungry? You're gonna get some breakfast, bacon and eggs later. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. Have a good breakfast, man. And the bacon and eggs sound really good. Not gonna lie. But good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Okay. Let's register as a CEO. Let's get the rail gun out. CEO abilities. And ammo drop. As I punch the air. There we go. Alright, now we have 20 rounds. Perfect. Alright, let's not be a CEO. Let's try this again. So Dranko says, grits in a tall glass of water. <laughs> What's that, Bear Warren? She made you hungry like she said. Yeah, just give me a nice bowl of grits, some butter... A side of bacon and some eggs, and I'm a happy person. I'm a, I'm a very happy person. So, Valkyra, you study culinary. Nice. I kind of wish I had done that for college instead of studying computer science. Now, and don't get me wrong, I don't regret studying computer science because that's where, that's my background. I enjoy computers and I like building, I like building gaming computers. That's my hobby. I, I, enjoy, I love it. Um, but I kind of wish I had done something else, another passion, cooking, for example, because I like cooking. Uh, I absolutely refuse to go to college for it or study. I'm not going back to college. I'm done. At my age, I'm done. I'm done with college. I'm not studying anything else ever again. I've had it. <laughs> I have absolutely had it. But I kind of wish I had done that as well. Uh, Valkyra, yeah, I am I am guilty as charged. Guilty as charged. When it comes to Discord. I'm still working on the Discord, but yeah, life is real life has just been really busy. You know, I'm I'm working as hard as I can to get my channel over 10k subscribers before summer, so it's really putting me in a bit of a bind to do other things. Uh, Dustin, you're assuming that I don't. Uh, you're assuming that I don't study the Bible. We're we're uh, Dustin. Understand that we're all God-fearing people here, all of us. Whenever you hear me say "God bless" to you, that's that comes from the heart. Okay. Vincent. All right. So we want target C. And that's where the military convoy is. So Valkyra, yeah, I need to know what your streaming schedule is. I'd love to join one of your culinary streams or one of your cooking streams. That'd be pretty cool. Nailed it. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'll get caught up in just a second so that I don't run into something. And Rockstar can turn the rain off anytime they want now. There we go. AJ Banks, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, uh, Cellcraft, exactly. Uh, if Valkyra hosts a cooking stream, I will absolutely watch it. And it's funny because cooking streams are very popular. Hey, uh, Jet Black, bro, it's cold here. It's been freaking cold here recently, and here it is spring, but it doesn't feel like it. Nothing about the weather that we've had recently feels like spring. Get out of the way. As I'm on the wrong side of the road. So, Baron Warren, you're in Cajun country, small world. Let me guess, Louisiana? Found him. See that chopper? It's transporting our vehicle. Shoot it down. And don't worry, this ride is tough. They can take the fall. Alright, let's get their attention. Got him. Back to the same source, huh? You must commend your total commitment to fucking these guys out. Get out of here with that mess. All right, let's go. Oh, we still got a helicopter? Let me take care of that. Let me murk this dude out. Oh, he dead. Let's go. So, Dan Red, you in Louisiana? Nice. Always wanted to visit there. I know there's some good food down there. So Doug Christie, the company you work for has a plant in Browser. Oh, crawfish seeds? Ooh, yeah. Cajun crawfish? Yes, sir. Hook me up, please. So Valkyra, what are you even talking about? Horse? Horse hoof contain horse, huh? <laughs> Always murk out Merriweather. So Red, uh, Dan Red, you had some boiled crawfish last week. It's been a long time since I've had crawfish. I know my pop, uh, when he was alive, he used to make crawfish a lot. Uh, uh, Japanese don't really eat crawfish. I, sometimes they do, but they're not really the, the delicacy type food. They're not the delicacy type food that they used to be, or that they usually are. Uh, here, uh, crawfish are kind of considered to be junk. 
He got Menendez. Hey, Menendez knew what was up when he signed up for Merriweather. <clears throat> it was Menendez's decision to become a mercenary. That's his fault. Okay, so, uh, Dranko, the most common thing... Uh, obviously, it's rice because in Japan, as with as is with most Asian cultures, um, in Japan the rice is the main part of the dish. That's the main part of the meal. Uh, everything else, like meat or anything like that, that's that's secondary to the dish. And the whole purpose behind side dishes in Japan are to enhance the flavor of the rice. The rice is the main part of the meal. So with everything else. So with everything else, fish and seafood is probably one of the other main dishes that uh, Japanese eat. But I remember remember that I mentioned during a, a previous live stream that uh, Japan is that the type of country and its type of culture that will take a Western a Western dish or a Western food dish a meal dish I should say and crank it up to eleven. Stupid NPCs, get out of the way. Hi Joey, 1998, welcome. Good to see you. So you won the car, congrats man. Congrats. You got a good that's a good car this week. It's a very good car this week. It is a very good car to win. It's one of the best money grind vehicles in the game. It is. The Night Shark is a beast of a car. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it also comes with machine guns. Coming through, coming through. Okay, so I have to... I gotta take it to the mod shop. I gotta get it fixed. What difference does it make if it's got a few bullet wounds and uh, bullet shots, or excuse me, bullet holes, I should say, bullet holes in it? Why do I have to take this thing to the mod shop? It's a getaway car. Nobody cares. All right, Beaker, open up. What brings you in today? Okay, that's a pretty nice customization on this thing, by the way. Should All right, fix it. All right, done. Enter the garage, we're done. Okay, so here we're going to select our vehicle. Unless you want to go after another uh, option, message me to confirm that's the vehicle you want to use. So we'll take the squatty and that's it. We don't need anything else. Hey, Joker, thank you for that. Uh, guys, if you haven't done so, please do me a massive favor. Hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. Okay, let's head back. Exit the garage. Let me out. Yeah, I, Joey, it's a good car. The Night Shark is a beast of a car and definitely worth a win this week. I won it across all my accounts. So, Yuving, you miss your dog? She lives with your mom? Yeah, I am not a pet person, per se. And that's just because, you know, because I work from home. I do. This is my job. Uh, the one thing that I don't want to have to do or don't need to do is have to be walking a dog and cleaning up, cleaning up after it. You know, cats are a bit more self-sufficient, but I'm not a cat person either because cats have attitudes. 
Boom, it's done. <laughs> so Valkyria, your eyes are getting heavy. Well, Valkyria, get some sleep. You know how it is. We'll still be here, maybe. But I do appreciate your staying here. <laughs> So, Yuving, your place is flooding. Are you... Seriously. Are, where are you right now? Are you, you getting heavy rain? No, Doug Christie, you know exactly what I'm saying. Cats have attitudes. I ain't got time for that. It's like if you're... Like right now, I'm sitting here trying to host a live stream uh, and do my job. A cat could walk into my room and say, Hey... You're going to put that controller down, turn off that computer right now, and you're going to pay attention to me. Otherwise, I'm going to scratch up your Xbox Series X, whether you like it or not. That's the problem with cats. I ain't got time for that BS. At least the only time a dog bothers you is when they need to go out for a walk. <laughs> cats, they're on a whole nother level of evil. A whole nother level of evil. All right, so we're done here. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back to the agency. Sorry if there are any cat people out there. I don't. And don't get me wrong. I don't mind cats. I think cats are hilarious sometimes, but I ain't got time for their BS. I ain't got time for that. All right. Let's go back to the agency and re-up and rearm. And again, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Hope you guys are all doing well. If you haven't done so, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. Also, if you are new here, don't be afraid to say hello out there in chat. But before you do, please check this video's description and read the full chat rules. Very important. Yeah, I jo that's, uh, that sounds like everyone's family dog. It does. <laughs> so, Dranko, seriously? See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I mean. <laughs> that's what I mean. All right, let's do it. Let's uh, re-up and rearm. And this is part of the money grind. I think after this, uh, we can do some auto shop contracts as well. I have the Union Depository all ready to go. Uh, I would also like to sell some acid for 351000 and the small crate warehouse. I think I've got seven crates there. Seven or eight, or eight crates. I think it's about halfway full. Hey, let me know if you have any questions. So, Randy Mars, you've got an 80-pound blue-nosed pit. Woo! That's a, that's a powerful dog right there. Okay, we need machine guns. Need any more? Need any more? And heavy. I think we're good. Body armor. Give me all of it. All right. Nice try. Ah, so you live near the Maze Bank Tower. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't exactly. <laughs> that's what uh, that's what pets do. That's what dogs do. All right, so let's go. So, uh, Joey, the new Assault Orb, Tactical SMG, I like it. It's my go-to weapon. It does a decent amount of jam uh, damage, excuse me. It's better than the AP pistol. It has a better rate of fire, especially when fully outfitted. What'd you call me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you call me, bro? It's, it's on. It's on now. I know you didn't just call me what I thought. Oh, he's... Oh, what? Get out. Dude shot me. What's that all about? Okay. You earned that murking out, buddy. You just earned that murking out. Hold on a minute. We're not done. We're not even close to being done. I said you're fired. 
Enjoy that murking out, you jack. <laughs> he totally deserved that. He didn't have to flip me off. What's that all about? Oh my god. You know what? That's it. That's it. Everybody's getting murked out. Everybody's getting murked out. That's it. Anybody else? Everybody's getting murked. Who else wants some? It's murking out time. That's some BS right there. Some random dude just ran me over again. Rockstar, fix your NPC drivers. That's some BS if I ever saw it. Get out of here. I ain't got time for this. Get out of here. Out. Everybody's getting murked out. <laughs> the, the irony of all of this is that I have to go to the Vinewood Police Station. Or not Vinewood, but to the uh, Vespucci Police Station right after this. Out of here. We'll just run this dude over. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. Okay, we're here. <laughs> so, Yuving, tow truck business is worth it? If nothing else, the salvage yard is worth it just because it's another business in Grand Theft Auto. The problem is that there's a high buy-in cost, and it may take a little while for you to see your return on investment, but... Uh, you will eventually see a return on your investment. And this week, the salvage yard properties are 25% off. So this is a good week to buy in. It is. As a matter of fact, I got to buy the salvage yard on my other two accounts. And I'm probably going to do an episode of uh, Squalor to Baller sometime next week showing a buying guide and walkthrough. This is the perfect week to get the salvage yard because it's not going to cost you as much that also means that uh, you should see a faster return on your investment. So I do think it's worth it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Dan Red, yeah, I had that happen to me before, where Dax runs you over by accident. But yeah, I, Joey, the Night Shark, like I said, is a beast of a car. It's one of the best money grind vehicles in Grand Theft Auto. It's one of the best. What I like about it is that it's got uh, ridiculously good explosives protection. I believe you can withstand 23 explosives. I think 23 explosives. It's a really good money grind vehicle. It's perfect for free roam. Hey, uh, Joker, no problem, brother. I'm glad that worked for you. That is, uh, the absolute best way uh, to complete the gangbanger robbery, especially if you're trying to get the, uh, you're trying to get all the bonus challenges. There's the, the outfit. Yeah, Joker, this is the best week to buy. This is the best week to buy. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. <clears throat> 31 Slender, welcome to the channel. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. So you're being asked, what's the best location for the salvage yard? Just about any location in the city is the best. But don't buy anything in Blaine County. But any salvage yard that you buy in the city is a good location. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to buy the salvage yard for my other accounts over at uh, Marietta Heights. That's the one on the east side of the map. Got him. So Gamer Zero, you like the strawberry location? Strawberry is good. The strawberry location is probably the best location in the city. Uh, but because I'm a cheapskate, <laughs> I think from my two PC accounts, I'm going to buy the location. I'm going to buy the location at the... Uh, at Marietta Heights on the east side of the map because it's still a good location and I think the the access or entry and exit points are better than strawberry that's just my opinion though but in terms of location in general it's the strawberry location is probably the best it's one of the more expensive locations if you don't mind spending a little bit of money then that's probably one of the best ways to go Alright. Can you stealth this operation? If so, we can hit the factory without them suspecting a thing. Just disable the vehicles, find a key card, and wipe the CCTV there we go. when you're done. On the other hand, you can go in guns blazing. Alright, yeah, so we're gonna stealth this. <coughs> Excuse me. Go ahead. Remember, just because you look the part doesn't mean they'll let you go anywhere. Oh, uh, we're going to try to stealth it anyway. This portion, stealthing this, should be easy. Uh, the problem is stealthing the actual finale, which is not that difficult, but timing has to be kind of on point. I had the wrong weapon the last time I tried it. All right. Just murk this dude out. Okay, I'll get caught up on chat in just a second. A key card must be around there somewhere. Yeah, you can do it loud. The 500, you get 500k regardless. Uh, I think the stealth approach is easier. You just have to be uh, pretty quick about it. Okay, murk this dude out. Wipe the CCTV. Steal, steal the VHS tape. <laughs> murk that dude out. Okay, murked. Okay, we'll leave that guy alone. Merc this dude. The key card could be in a locker or Merc that dude. Can you find anything to break them open? Okay, we need the drill, which is should be on one of these crates. There we go. All right, let's murk these two dudes out. All right. Remember, floor money is good money. Okay, let's sit tight here for a second because we've got one guy coming in. Uh, before I start drilling into these lockers, there's going to be one guy coming up on the map. So let's take a second to get caught up. 
Yeah, never understood why he was welding and radiating. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Yeah, Yaving, exactly. Uh, that's something we were talking about earlier. If you, uh, if you log in, or if you were one of the lucky players who logged into GTA uh, before the event week started, or maybe just after the event week began, then you were able to claim the Wagner. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Turn around. Okay, that dude's dead. Oh, I have? Okay. Alright, who else is left? Okay, we're good. Every All right. <laughs> All right, let's steal the money. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I Joe, he didn't see him get killed. But somebody probably saw one of the dead bodies. No big deal. As long as you take out the uh, all the witnesses, then you won't be detected when you go to the factory. Otherwise, you have to go in guns blazing. Which, I mean, going in guns blazing is not a problem. And again, thank you guys so much for joining us today. I appreciate each and every one of you. we got 79 people out there watching. Let's freaking go. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you guys so much. If you haven't done so, please do me a massive favor. Hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. We got the card. You get a key card? You'll thank yourself when you have one to navigate that factory. When you're done, plug the hell out. Yeah, they probably saw one of the dead bodies. That does happen. That's why you have to be careful where you take those guys out. No big deal. Uh, fortunately, in this case, there were no, there were only like four witnesses left. So as long as you take out the witnesses, uh, they won't know by the time you get to the factory. Boom! Let's get that money. Okay, those were empty. And the only reason I'm doing this is because this is an extra 6K. This will buy me like a potato chip at one of the local convenience stores. You don't have to do this. All you have to do is find the key. That's it. All right. Done. And we're out of here. So, I Joe, you got a couple of clean cars. I'm uh, I'm pissed. I'm a little pissed this week that uh, Rockstar. Rockstar refuses to give us a claimable vehicle, and that uh, you have to literally glitch—not really glitch, but you have to log in just before the, uh, just after the beginning of the event week to claim it. That's a bunch of BS. 
Why is it that Rockstar gave us Rockstar gave us a, a a game they gave us a game function that we've been asking for for three months. We've been asking for claim to be able to claim cars for three months. They give it to us finally and then they take it away. Why did Rockstar do that? Now, I'm not making excuses, but the only reason I can think of as as to why Rockstar decided not to allow us to claim a vehicle this week is because they're giving away the uh, the Obey 8F Drafter for free. If you rever reserved, excuse me, if you reserve the Obey 8F Drafter over the past two uh, uh, over the past two weeks, then you get it for free until May, uh, April 3rd. And you can simply go to the uh, in-game websites and claim one Obey 8F Drafter for free. Yeah, well, that's right. They only care about shark card sales. What they're going to do is drip feed it. That's what they're going to do. They're going to re-release it as if it's some big special event. For the exact same reason that Rockstar removed hard mode or hard difficulty from the Clucking Bell Farm raid. So you can't even change the hard mode function. They did the exact same thing last year with the Drug Wars DLC. So that they could drip feed it and make it some big, stupid event for one of the event weeks. You know, it's to me uh, nothing but laziness on Rockstar's part. They don't want to give us good event weeks, so they're taking functionality that should already be in the game. And they're taking it away so they can drip feed it later. It's fear of missing out. So you claim two to see how much one would sell for. I think if you claim the car, it only sells for the amount of money. It only uh, sells for the amount of money uh, that uh, it has in terms of customization. So all the cars are customized. They have a certain level of customization, but uh, the actual vehicle itself has no value. Yeah, they didn't need that streetlight. Are we there yet? Hey! We got a new sub. Let's go. So, Milk Money 2012. Welcome to the Odd Ones. Everybody, let's get some 07s out there in chat for our new subscriber. Milk Money 2012. Welcome to the Odd Ones. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for your subscription. Welcome aboard. That's what I'm talking about. Let's freaking go. So, we only got 5K for that. That sucks. Uh, yeah, the slam van is still doable, but you can only get it from uh, as a mystery prize. It's like one in it's like a one in two thousand chance. Okay, let's go back to the agency. Let's re up, re up, and re arm. Uh, and I hope everybody's doing well out there. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. If you haven't done so, please do me a massive favor. Hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. So what we're doing right now is running through the Clucking Bell Farm Raid as part of the money grind. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, Dan, we talk about hard mode where we end up at the Vanilla Unicorn. <laughs> Hey, uh, uh, Dan, it's either the Vanilla Unicorn or uh, Schlongberg Sachs. <laughs> it's either the Vanilla Unicorn or Schlongberg Sachs, one of those two buildings. Got some cool stuff here for you. So, Rad Grizz, have you, ac you actually gotten meteorites from <laughs> the Mystery Prize? Right, that, that's pretty stupid. But not at all surprising. Okay, machine guns. And body armor. Okay. Let's finish this. Let's get that 500k. We'll try to do this stealth. If not, no big deal. You know, I can just take the elevator. All right, let's go. And the uh, Clucking Bell Farm Raid is part of the money grind. This is 500k. Afterwards, um, we're going to sell some acid. If it's nice tomorrow, 
which should be full right about now. So I, Joey asks, what's the best method for the business yard? You're talking about the salvage yard, the best method. I mean, that that's up to you. For me, I prefer... Well, first of all, I would have, if I thought about it, done two tow truck service missions to uh, to increase the passive income. Well done out there. When your train arrives at the factory. Yeah, we got it. To increase the passive income. And uh, that that's for the wall safe. Then if you have vehicles, for example, I have four vehicles at my salvage yard, so I'm going to sell all four of those for a mill. And pretty much rinse and repeat. Uh, unfortunately, the salvage yard is not one of those properties where you can constantly fill it up with cars. And that's just because there's that one week cooldown period for vehicle robberies. Rockstar needs to fix that BS. And that's correct. You always do your tow truck services first. That way you're maximizing your passive income. And never ever salvage any of your robbery vehicles. Don't ever do that. You always want to deliver your robbery vehicles to maximize your profit. Confirm. All right, let's do this. Let's get that 500K. We'll try to do this stealth. Yeah, I always let my safe fill up. I never take money out of my safe until they're full. That reminds me, I should probably refill my uh, my MC Clubhouse as well because that's another one hundred thousand dollars. Oh yeah, Rad Grizz, exactly. The safe is uh, you get twenty four k every forty eight minutes, I think. Suppressed. The cocaine and any contraband they keep in the safe. By all means, obtain as much of both as you can carry. All right. If you want to refresh your arsenal, don't forget the extra equipment you acquired. I've arranged for it to be left in the dumpster to the rear of the factory. So just out of curiosity... <clears throat> We don't have to swap out our weapons loadout, but I'm kind of curious to see what we've got. Okay, that's equipment, weapons... So that's M machine gun, AP pistol, shotgun. The problem is that that combat shotgun is the only suppressed weapon. The AP pistol is not. <clears throat> there should be a fuse box that will allow you entry if you can destroy it. Okay, so we're not going to bother swapping out. This suppressed pistol is going to be the best way to go. All right, I think we got somebody coming this way. Oh, no, he just walked away, didn't he? Yep. All right, so we're going to wait for this dude to come back toward us. And then we'll murk him out. The problem is that if I shoot him, if he's too far up ahead, then the other guard that's standing on the left side will see it. All right, so he's coming back this way. We're going to wait for him to turn around, then murk him out, and murk out these three as well. All 
Uh, Gamer Zero, the problem is that that SMG is not suppressed. Yeah, so if we look at it, the mini SMG, they're not suppressed. So, you know, I'm trying to do this stealth. So much for stealth. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right. I got to restart this. Okay, so guys, I need to take a very short break. I'll be right back. If you haven't done so, please do me a massive favor. Hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. I'll be right back. Uh, don't go anywhere. And Grizzly83, welcome to the channel. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Guys, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, and we're back. Thank you guys so much for waiting. Let's try this again. So, Bear, uh, <coughs> Warren, the same thing happened to you? Yeah, the problem is that I'm using aim assist partial, and that uh, my character kept continued to lock on to the guard on the left, which is not what I wanted to do. And ended up shooting the wrong dude. So let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Yeah, Gamer Zero, let's try that. It's not an exact science, but you do have to pick your shots carefully, so let's try that. So, Rad Grizz, you have to own an agency. And only certain personal vehicles can, get, uh, can be equipped with remote control. That's Imani Tech. So you have to, uh, you got to own an agency and you have to have the right personal vehicle and equip it with a Monitech. Uh, the agency property will allow you to equip it with the Monitech remote control. 
But again, it has to be the, the appropriate personal vehicle. You can't just put Imani Tech on every car. All right, let's try it again. Yeah, a uh, bear warrant, exactly. Uh, aim assist, that's because I'm using a controller and I'm not using a mouse and keyboard. So aiming is not quite as precise. So I kind of don't have a choice. A nurse nerd gamer, welcome back. You just missed me failing at stealth. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Clucking bell. Yeah, this is the second redo. Okay, so far so good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse, sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Dang it. So close. So close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Alright, third time's a charm. Yeah, sometimes it'll slip. <laughs> Sometimes it'll slip. All right. <clears throat> Let's try that one more time, shall we? So close. Yep, get ready for part three. Don't. Hey, this is not a family friendly. Sh well, this is not a stream made for kids. How about that? Not for kids. It's family friendly. Uh, asterisk. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, Alright, let's try it again, shall we? Like I said, family friendly asterisks in quotation marks, air quotes. All right. All 
All right, let's try it one more time. You know the procedure. Ride the train into the delivery bay and wait to be taken inside the factory. After that, do what you do. So close. Here's the deal. If you can stealth this whole thing, once you wipe out all of the cartel, they won't respawn. If you go in guns blazing, then they'll continue to respawn. It's like an endless wave. Which, in reality, is still not really that big of a deal. <clears throat> Excuse me. To punch fatal holes in the hull of this operation, we need to leave with two things. Their product and their cash. To clarify, steal it all. If you want to refresh your arsenal, don't forget the extra equipment you acquired. I've arranged for it to be left in the dumpster to the rear of the factory. All right. The key card you acquired should grant you access to restricted areas in the factory, including the basement. Here we go. <laughs> Nurse Nerd Gamer says, hey, this looks like a kid's game. It is. In all reality, it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. And don't forget, floor money is good money. Yes, yeah, Cellcraft. Family friendly ish. Almost family friendly. Hey, I was in the Navy. I'm an ex sailor. I swear like one. <laughs> Cellcraft know what I'm talking about. There we go. And hope you guys are all doing well. Again, thanks for sticking with us today. This is part of the money grind, the Clucking Bell farm raid. I actually enjoy the Clucking Bell raid. I would rather do the Clucking Bell raid just in terms of enjoyment factor alone. I'd rather do the Clucking Bell farm raid than to do Kyle Perico. Kyle Perico is boring. Even though you make more money with Kyle Perico. Cellcraft says, yep, you know what exactly I'm talking about. Okay, there's one left in the corner. Oh, it's upstairs. No, not. Okay, let's go. That's the stash. Okay, let's see if we can clear out this other room. Yeah, whatever you say, homie. This place is barely functioning as a chicken factory. One would assume they'd have more cluck and bell staff to keep up appearances, but I underestimated just how bold criminals can be once they have the police in their pocket. Okay, let's see where this dude goes.
Oh, dang it. Okay, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> so close. Not sure. I'm not sure how they were loaded. But I'm not going to replay this again, so... Alright, let's go get the, uh, the other stiff. No big deal. <laughs> I'm not going to replay this a third to a fourth time. Alright, let's get that crowbar. There it is. Oh, we already have it. No big deal. Okay. So it's usually in the first and last containers, but sometimes they randomize it. So let's see what we got. Okay, so it's in the second container. Now, or second crate, I should say. Now, there's no bonus for doing it stealth, vice, guns blazing. Ah, there we go. Second and last crates. Ah, uh, Ving, yes, I have, and Oden is really good. I prefer ramen over Oden. Or, I'm sorry, uh, I'm thinking about something else. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Oden is good, yes. And it's something that Japanese eat a lot of uh, during the wintertime because it's a... It's, um... Traditional winter food. Alright, let's go bust into the office. Okay, we got the key, so let's open the door. Hell yeah! Establish a connection to the computer first. Hack the computer. Oh, you're talking about the anime character. I didn't know that. Got him. Puta madre. Okay. Por vida.
Okay, it's not that one. We just did that one. There we go. It's got to be this one. Nope. <laughs> hey, Ving, thank you, man. I appreciate you for that. Thank you so much. Okay, I do apologize. I'm not, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, ignoring anyone. Uh, just trying not to get murked. <laughs> That's all. I was just over there at that computer. I was just there. What's that all about? Yeah, I was just here. Oh my god, this game... Thanks for padding the game, Rockstar. You guys suck. Alright, that's it. Sleepyhead, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. So, what is this? Hey, Yaving, thank you for that massive donation, brother. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. Everybody, let's get some 07s out there in chat. Yaving Rula, welcome, man. Again, thank you so much for that massive donation, brother. Much appreciated. We should be getting a notification from Streamlabs any minute. But again, Yaving, thank you so much, brother. Much appreciated. Yeah, Radgriz, that is a bug. I do agree. All right, let's get to the office. <clears throat> uh, 10-88-33. Okay, let's do it. And 33. All right, give me the money. There we go. Okay, that's it. All set. Okay, they're mobilizing on the comms. Sounds like they're about to shut down any nearby roads. But as usual, we're one step ahead. Your getaway car is stored just... Okay, we're gonna run. There's a notification. Again, you're being... Thank you, brother. Much appreciated. Let's go. We got this. I said, in general, the the uh, clucking bell farm rate is easy. It's just tedious. Looks like you brought the right car for this situation. It'll take them all week to shoot through that thing. All right, let's go. All right, stay on the railroad tracks, and that's it. Run over the park ranger because he's in the way. Don't run into the train. There is a train heading this way. Good point. I will absolutely armor up. We don't want to get murked, it's just when we're almost finished. So how are you guys today? <laughs> it's good to see everybody out there. Fortunately, <clears throat> since we took a train out here, um, I don't think we have to worry too much about a train on our way back. I hope. But this is the absolute fastest way out of Polito Bay, and the fastest way to lose the cops, or to begin losing the cops at least.
Okay, so as soon as we get across this river, Okay. On the home stretch now, my friend. Soon you'll wash away the putrid scent of reconstituted meat slurry and finally enjoy the sweet smell of success. Mm -mm. All right, let's go. That's how it's done. Shortcut. All right, so we'll sit up here on the mountain for a second until the cops are gone. Just that easy. And again, AJ Banks, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, uh, Radgris and uh, Cellcraft, that's, oh, I'm sorry, um, Sleepyhead, that's the best way to lose the cops for the Big Tony robbery. Alright, cops are gone, this thing is a wrap, let's find a road and get back. <coughs> Excuse me. Nailed it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Gamer Zero. Unfortunately, you can't hide in the train tunnel when you're still in Polito Bay. And it's just the, uh, th that's the game mechanic. Um, until you reach uh, Blaine County, or until you get closer to the city, the one at stars won't begin to uh, flash. So you have to get closer to uh, Polito Bay, not Polito Bay, but you have to get closer to the city, at least for the Clucking Bell Farm Raid. Now, if you're playing the McTony Robbery, then you're, you're absolutely correct. You can hide in the train tunnel until the one at stars go away. But for this mission, or for this heist at least, uh, you won't begin to lose one at stars until you're closer toward the city. AJ Banks, thank you so much, man. And again, thank you for joining us today, and thank you for that like. I appreciate you. And guys, if you haven't done so, Please do me a massive favor, hit that like button, it helps out the channel a ton. Get out of the way. The NPCs drive way too slow. Oops. <laughs> I didn't know that was there. I thought I could drive over that. Here. There we go. <laughs> Made it. Alright, that was easy. Okay, yeah, Gamer Zero, I can see that. I can see that. The problem is that you have to, you leave the tunnel, drive toward the city, begin to lose the cops, then you have to drive back and go back into the tunnel. <laughs> so that that kind of, just from my perspective, that kind of uh, seems self-defeating, only because you, you're, you're wasting time heading back north when you should be heading south. You do have a point. Okay, well, that's done. That's an extra 500k. I will take that. All right, let's keep the money grind going. Yeah, 
So what's that thing? You need to get that dubs to two? I got a video on my channel on how to get it. In fact, there are four methods. If you have any doubts about what we're accomplishing over it. There are four methods of getting a uh, dubs to two, an NPC dubs to two, to uh, spawn one of the rare ones. There used to be three, there's four now. And I'm probably going to post an updated video on that. Where's my auto shop? Let's do a Union Depository. Money grind is still going. So we have to put up with some uh, Sasanta and KDJ for a bit. Not looking forward to this, but we got to keep the money grind going. As a matter of fact, before we do, hold on one minute, before we do anything else, let's swing by the salvage yard and see what we've got in the wall safe. Let's see what's in the wall safe. I gotta double check my uh, my passive income. Yeah, well, Radgriz, believe it or not, if you have the gold dubster, then you have everything that you need to spawn the silver one. So, um, David, did we get the notification? Okay, we will set up hard mode in just a second. So we've got 173k. All right, need to do some tow truck services, I guess. Not now. I'll do that later. Well, let's uh, swing by the sub. I did not. I totally missed it. I didn't see it. I appreciate you. Thank you for uh, reminding me. Let's hit the uh, submarine, shall we? And set up hard mode. It's funny. It doesn't seem like it been, it's been two and a half hours already. I lost track of time. <laughs> okay. I will take it. Yeah, giggity, giggity. Let's get that hard mode. Right after we go to Schlongberg Sachs. All right. Pick up one of those. Pick up some snacks. Yeah, a Rad Grizz. I enjoy the Clucking Bell Farm Raid. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. So yeah, you're right. When, you, when you're enjoying yourself, you lose complete track of time. <laughs> yeah, Gamer Zero. Giggity, giggity. Let's get that hard mode. All right. MC, start a business. Let's go. Let's not be an MC. Let's go to the agency. And what I'll do is run a couple of tow truck services so that I can build my daily income there. Once that's done, we will head to the auto shop. And I have a union depository all ready to go. So we'll do that. And what I would like to do is grind some crates on the small crate warehouse and get that ready for sale today. All right, let's re-up and rearm. Just picked up snacks. <laughs> and I hope you guys are all doing well again. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for sticking with us. I know it's late for some of you, and I do appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. All right, so machine guns. Full. I think I got everything. Let's just get some body armor. All right, so we're done here. Let's go to the salvage yard. Let's do some tow truck services to boost our daily income. As a matter of fact, I should probably do a uh, a delivery mission, a booze delivery mission for my uh, for my MC Clubhouse. That's an extra 100k. You all good? Catch you later. So Rad Grizz, it's hot where you are. Man, it, it's been cold. It's ridiculously cold right now. It, this ain't spring. Nothing like it. Not even close. 
All right, let's do some tow truck services. Hey, take care. So I want to make sure my daily income for my wall safes at all businesses are filling up. And the one place that we routinely forget about has to be the MC Clubhouse because you get 100K at the MC Clubhouse just like you get 100K at the arcade. All you have to do is make sure that you uh, keep it stocked with uh, booze. So if you combine all, what is it, five wall safes, you get 950K in passive income, almost a mil in passive income. And if you really want to be uh, a bean counter about it, if you do the uh, excess weapons and mixed goods, that's an extra 100K, so that's over a mil right there. So Radgriz, 36 degrees Celsius where you're at, that's ridiculous. Let me guess, are you in Australia? I'm guessing you're in Australia. Johnny Wick, welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Coming through, coming through. Oh, that dude's dead. Yeah, 36 Celsius. Oh, Malaysia. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, it's been freezing cold here recently. It's cold. It's been rainy. It's been cold. It's been pretty miserable. Yesterday's weather was okay because it was sunny, but it was dry, cold weather, which wasn't too bad. Today, it's wet, cold, and rainy, and just miserable. Which is kind of funny because it's supposed to be Golden Week here in Japan where you have a, a lot of... Uh, at, at the beginning of spring, usually, between uh, uh, the end of May... Not May, but the end of uh, March, beginning of April, you have a lot of uh, Japanese that go on vacation. But it's unseasonably cold for this time of year right now. Hey, well, Rad Grizz, I appreciate you being here, man. Thank you so much. Okay, we need to do one more of these. To max out that daily income. Once that's done, we will go do a Union Depository over at the Auto Shop. From there, we can sell some acid. I would like to grind uh, crates on my small crate warehouse, which I think we're about halfway full there. All right, let's do one more. Yeah, uh, Radgriz, exactly. Weather has been unpredictable for the past, for the past decade or so. All right, where's the car? Nice. 69. I'll take it. <laughs> 69. Giggity, giggity. Let's do it. But yeah, you're absolutely correct. It's been unseasonably cold. I know back in early March, earlier this month, we had a, a really hot day. It was like 22, 23 degrees Celsius. To the point where, you know, people were actually breaking out, uh, breaking out fans to cool off. <laughs> That's how bad it was. Yeah, Cellcraft, 69. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Ah, it's a baller. Nice. It's a baller with nice ribs, too. Okay.
And we got cops. Oh, uh, let's see. Hey, they shot first. Alright. Alright, so let's lose the cops. This sucks. <laughs> yeah, we need to call the Sparrow. We need to call the Sparrow. I'm being lazy, that's all. <laughs> yeah, we're about to lose the cops anyway. Alright, cops are gone. Perfect personification of a truck driver right there. Alright, let's go. Okay, this will max out the passive income at the uh, salvage yard from there. Should probably refill the booze at the, uh, at the uh, MC. That person's dead. <laughs> Sorry. All right, bring the card in. We'll salvage the parts and get paid in no time. So, a uh, rad quiz. Yeah, I didn't know that. Now, I would like to know whether or not the uh, the tow truck, the beater's tow truck, can do the same because I know this truck is pretty decent. Not sure about the beater's tow truck, which cost about half the price. So you're being the just came to the door to clean up the water. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear you're having issues with flooding. That's uh, that's kind of strange. Okay, so we're good to go here. Okay, we got some more money to make, so let's head over to... Oh, hold it. Let's go... A very small difference. Yeah, Gamer Zero, exactly. So I think what I'm going to do for my uh, my PC accounts is just get the beater tow truck. It doesn't matter. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we need to go to the Great Shapiro Clubhouse. And that's so that I can maximize the daily income at the clubhouse as well. We got to keep that clubhouse stocked with booze. So yeah, uh, Gamer Zero, it is a bit slower. Not, but it would, like you said, not by much. Not by much. Uh, I don't. Given the choice, oh, check it out. It's full. All right, nice. So your bar earnings will give you 100k. So let's do this. Let's claim all bar, all uh, passive income at once. So we're good here. Uh, we'll let that. Uh, we'll let that one cook off. So.
So yeah, uh, I Joey, if you don't have the salvage yard yet, get it this week while it's twenty uh, twenty five percent off. It's worth it. In my opinion, it's worth it. Okay, let's go to the auto shop. We have a union depository to run. Let's go. Let's make that money. Hey, let's go. We got a new sub. So Amsterdam. Giorgio Amsterdam. Oh, I've seen you before. Welcome to the channel. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Everybody, let's get some 07s out there and chat for our new subscriber. Amsterdam Giorgio. Welcome to the Odd Ones. Thank you so much for your subscription and your support. Welcome. All right, well, so we're here at the auto shop. But yeah, Rad Grizz is correct. You should absolutely buy the, okay. the salvage yards this week while they're on sale. Definitely get them while they're on sale. See, babe? All right, let's become a boss. Elevator codes. Let's do it. Shut up, Sasanta. I don't want to talk to you. All right. Johnny on the spot. Where's my oppressor? What do you need, boss? Some wheels? I can uh, bring it right. Terabyte oppressor. This big shot businessman. You want to pass? As I punch the air. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. You guys are coming in clutch today. We got a new sub. So Tyler Sows, Tyler Sows, welcome to the Odd Ones. Thank you so much for your subscription and, sh and your support. Everybody, let's get some 07s out there in chat for Tyler Sows, welcome to the Odd Ones. Hope I'm not mispronouncing your name. Let's just call you Tyler. Again, welcome to the Odd Ones. Thank you so much. Much appreciated, brother. Thank you. Welcome to the Odd Ones. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so that we don't have to listen to Santa talking all the time, we'll hang up on her every time she calls us. You gotta hang up on her quickly, otherwise she'll keep talking. That That's just the Santa. You can't shut her up. So this is Lombank West. So we're still on that money grind. So far... We got 1.2 for Kayo, 500,000 for... Uh, clucking bell and uh, we're going to get 270k for this there we go shotguns out get into some cover go down Hey, we got a new sub. That's what I'm talking about. So, Mike, Larry, welcome to the Odd Ones. Everybody, let's get some 07s out there in chat. Oh, he's dead. Proper hand salute to our new subscriber, Mike, Larry, welcome to the Odd Ones. Thank you for your subscription and support. Excuse me. Bo. All right, let's try that again. Okay, he's dead. And there we go. They're all dead now. That's right. Sub train hype. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you guys for coming in clutch today. I appreciate each and every one of you. So we have the elevator key. Let's get out of here. We're done. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, I agree. DJ Pooh is pretty funny. <laughs> but KDJ and Sasanta, nah. Those two suck. Okay, let's go. We gotta make some money. Elite Toxic, welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining us today. And them dudes are pissed. Oh. Oh, 
All right. <laughs> As cars are exploding around them. So what's that in the music mix? They do crazy stuff. I need to check that out. And I'm pretty sure it's easy to make a mix with those two. But as much as they say mf -er, yes. That dude gets back up. Alright, he's dead. Let's go. <laughs> What's that sleepyhead? Lamar and Franklin are fun. Yes, they are. That second roast. That's one of the things I liked about the uh, contract DLC. Which is my favorite DLC, and that's because they brought back two beloved, uh, two beloved characters from the original single player. Shortcut. Yo, Michael Knight, what's up, brother? Welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us, man. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's park this thing. You know, we're on that money grind again. That's all. Making that money. Dope. <laughs> Who put that pillar right there? All right, done. Jesus. That is a, uh, uh, I Joey. That's a good question. And if you look at uh, just the cost of inflation or the the rate of inflation in Grand Theft Auto in general over the course of the past 10 years in the release of DLC cars. It's all about microtransactions with Rockstar Games. Anything that Rockstar Games feel that they can do to uh, increase the potential for shark card sales and microtransactions, they'll do it. That's why you see that uh, in uh, recent years of DLC releases, the price of cars have gone up and, and the, the cost of businesses have gone up as well. And more to the point, we've seen a reduction in payouts for those businesses. So to give you an example, when you look at the chop shop or the salvage yard, you know, you can only steal three cars a week. There's no excuse for that. And also, uh, when you consider the fact, shut up, Santa, I don't want to talk to you. When you consider the fact that um, you're the legit side of your business uh, doesn't pay as much as it should. It should those vehicles when you salvage them for parts should pay more money in my opinion, but I kind of understand why Rockstar did that because it's the actual legit side of your business. You're salvaging those cars for parts, so you're getting between thirty and sixty k per car, which is not bad. I don't think I've ever gotten that much for a vehicle, but that's just for the passive side of your business. I just think that we should be able to steal as many cars as we want. You know, we shouldn't be limited to only three cars a week. You know, maybe one car a day. If Rockstar allowed us to do one car a day, that would be better. That way we wouldn't have to wait an entire week, you know, before we, getting three more cars. You know, it's not like the payout on those cars is, is high in the beginning because they're not. They don't sell for that much. Not as much as they should. But it's all about microtransactions with Rockstar. Shut up, Sasanta. And no, uh, that's c absolutely correct. And no, Woodcroft. It's the it's the artificial inflation. It's artificial inflation in GTA, uh, because 
Rockstar specifically wants to push microtransactions. So it's all about shark card sales. It's all about the fear of missing out. And it's all about GTA+. Plus. They totally didn't need that street light. Uh, yeah, Rad Grizz, exactly. Anything that gives players an edge is gone. A legit edge. A legit edge. Anything that helps us make more money legit, they'll take it out. But that's one of the reasons why a lot of players glitch and dupe and exploit. Because of bad decision making on the part of Rockstar Games. Whenever they do something stupid, players have an incentive not to do the right thing. All right, let's go. Uh, yeah, we were talking about that earlier during stream. What happened to Gilly Master was wrong. It was totally wrong. And Microsoft, Xbox, I'll say it again, they need to get their heads out of their butts and do something about this problem. They've been smelling their farts this whole time, uh, not using real people to monitor their bot, their chats, their, their chats and their reporting system. That's done by bots. It's monitored by AI bots. And the AI is stupid. All the AI is, it, the only thing the AI does is count. How many, how many reports has this, per, has this person got? The AI is not smart enough to determine whether or not uh, the reporting is being spammed or whether or not they're legit reports of some kind of abuse. So what happens is that innocent players are having their accounts inadvertently banned as a result of it. Gilly Master didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve that. And Xbox, they need to fix that problem. They really need to fix it. Let's remember something. This happened about eight months ago, it was the same thing. It was the exact same thing. Some kind of a, a ban bot attack on player accounts. But see, that's exactly why I don't join group party chats or join uh, any kind of chat whatsoever. So, Golden Sun, welcome to the channel. Good to see you. I have noticed that. Yes. I have noticed that. All right, there's our target. Yeah, but like I said, what's happening is some sort of a ban bot attack. And uh, let me try to explain it again. From my understanding of exactly what's happening, if you are on Xbox Live, or if you're in an Xbox Live chat or someone's party, if you join someone's party, or you start a party and you have friends join, or and someone just happens to join your party who just happens to be on PC, uh, let's remember that... Uh, uh, the Microsoft Windows operating system has an, they have Xbox and PlayStation APIs that allow you to stream game data from your console to your PC so you can you can play uh, console games on your PC you can you can stream them to your PC not play them natively but you can stream them now that being said uh, what's happening is that 
Uh, there's probably a third-party app out there on PC that allows some jackass to grab players' a, a player information. For example, IP addresses, uh, gamer tags, uh, any kind of identifiable information. Okay, and what's happening is that these bad actors are taking that information and they're initiating a ban bot attack. They're spam reporting player accounts, and like I said, because uh, because the uh, moderation moderation of these uh, these reports or this reporting system is done by bots. The bots are counting. The bots aren't actually reviewing anything. They're counting, and there are no real people that are monitoring any of this. It's all done by AI bot. And as a result, you've got innocent players that are that are having their accounts uh, suspended and banned from the Xbox Live service for no, no fault of their own, for no reason. This is the same exploit that's been going around since last year, and apparently Microsoft has done nothing about it. Found him. You have a point to make. All right, there they are. And we're up out of here. Yeah, no, that's absolutely right. They don't care. As long as we keep throwing money at them, they don't care. They don't want to fix their system and make it safer for players to play on. They don't care about that because that's not good for their bottom line. But they're willing to take something away that you paid for, even though it's not your fault. They need to fix that because Gilly Master didn't deserve that. That's BS. All right, so we have... Let's go do the Union Depository for 270k. Hey. Shut up, Sasanta. I don't want to talk to you. Brucey, you shut up, too. I got I to gotta wipe that dude from my contacts. Brucey Kaputz has no reason to be contacting me. He should have stayed in uh, Liberty City. He should have never come to San Andreas. All right, let's do this. And again, thank you guys for sticking with us. I know it's late for some of you, but I do appreciate you guys sticking with us today. Thank you so much. Especially thank you to our new subscribers. And just to remind everyone, we do have a ticker at the top of the uh, at the top of your display that shows all new subscribers and recent subscribers, and it also shows uh, anyone that's donated. And this is my way of saying thank you to each and every one of you out there for your continued support of what we do. I want to make sure that I give recognition to everybody out there who's who's a part of my channel. So thank you guys so much. All right, let's do it. The robbery. Let's go make that money. We got 270k on the line here. Let's do it. Okay, we want hustler armor. Confirm. Play. Let's do it. And I hope you guys are all doing well. This is part of the money grind for today. And if you guys haven't done so, I hope that you guys took time to go to the uh, to go to the casino. What did I do? Cancel? What happened? Must have canceled by accident. I hope you guys took time to win the podium car this week. Uh, it's the uh, Night Shark, which is one of the best money grind vehicles. It's actually one of the best free roam vehicles in the game. Uh, it's free on the podium at the casino. I highly recommend that if you don't have it, win it. Go get that thing for free. It is worth it.
So what's that? You tried to cancel and she said, no fool. That, uh, I think if you start the preps, here's the deal. Whenever you, if you get like, if you're trying to get the union depository or get a contract that you want, uh, you can start any contract, just start the contract, but do not start the prep missions. Uh, for, as soon as you start the contract, you back out. You back out, then you leave the building, then call to Santa. Then you can cancel the contract. You can cancel the contract as long as you haven't started any of the prep missions. Confirm. So the first time you can't cancel. Okay, that that sounds about right. That could be that could be right. All right, let's go rob a bank. Let me get K up in here. All right, let's do this. But if it's your first auto shop contract, then yeah, you have to play through that. It's mandatory. This is the motherfucking big leagues now, y'all. Hit me with that plan again, baby girl. We pick up the security car, leave the getaway, walk right in the front door, walk right out with the goal. Then all we gotta do is drive it over to Oof. this contact you got. Mm, there we go. That's right. Now this lady who paying us is a shady ass motherfucker. Like she wearing government issue pants suit kind of shady. So we ain't fucking around with this one. Yeah, Cellcraft, exactly. Let's no not get K up Let's in here. Oh. Remember, your private security. These two absolutely park, suck. Really? Just look like you itching to shoot someone, but don't know how to flick the safety. I sincerely hope yeah, that Rockstar like at some point and you writes those LSPD two like out of the game. You know, you're a little slow. Maybe like a, a, a random traffic accident or something like that that just don't completely takes them out of guard. canon. Just flash your ID and eyeball that motherfucker. All right, sleepyhead, we'll see you next time, man. Take care of yourself. God bless to you. We will see you next time. All right, let me see your ID. So you think you just stole a bellum from grape seed. Okay. Nice. On you go. <laughs> just swipe your pass inside the elevator and take you right down. Nice. Sounds like we threw. The car should send the elevator down to the basement. Next stop. The you know what I would like to do is hire. I wish we could hire Yusef, not Yusef, but Jamal. I wish we could hire Jamal to run our auto shop. As we can see, Rockstar still hasn't fixed the vault door here. Something else that they broke during the Chop Shop DLC. Yo, you in? <laughs> Yo, you in? I'm hyped, girl. Never understood yeah, why he's whispering. So All right, yeah, let's get that money. Job. You want to fluster my shit? You better get on your back, player. Damn. All right, y'all, get that gold upstairs before this girl give me another fucking thing to be thinking about. I know that sound. We busted. I thought the ID took care of that shit. As soon as your bag's full, we put a plug and get the hell out. Cops gonna be hitting you with everything they got. You want so what's that, uh, Woodcroft? You heard that <laughs> Lucia and Jason are gonna be placed by Sasanta and KDJ? That, that would kill... I think that would immediately kill any and all hopes of GTA 6 selling. That would immediately kill GTA 6 selling. Nobody would buy GTA 6 if that were the case. So the Golden Sun, thank you so much for being here and thanks for sticking with us. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself and God bless to you. We will see you next time. Alright, so here we go. I really wish he would shut up. Well, 
Rapid fire glitch. Rapid fire bug. Good job, Rockstar. Almost got murked out there. Good job, Rockstar. They need to fix that BS. They need to fix that bet. I swear. Rockstar Games. The gift that keeps on giving. Rapid fire bug. What the? Oh my god. There are ghost NPCs. You guys just saw that, right? Rockstar, fix your game. Yeah, they're spawning out of nowhere, apparently. Alright, crew support. Diversion. Yeah, the invisible cops. Diamond Dog, what's up, man? All right, what do we got? Yeah, you know, the problem with GTA 6 is that it's overhyped. You will not see, unless there is some official information. Unless there's something official coming from Rockstar, I'm not going to report on it. It has to be something official. I don't do speculations and all that stuff unless there's something official coming from Rockstar. I really wish those two would shut up. Oh, they just managed to hit both tires. They managed to hit both tires. Yeah, I think Rockstar buffed this mission. Or buffed the NPCs in this mission. That is BS. That is a bunch of BS right there. <laughs> Alright, let's go. As I'm being hey, shot in the back. I said, I'll care about GTA 6 when it comes out. I keep my shit protected, baby.
You don't need to do all that. I'm just working them out for the, uh, just because. Alright, let's go. Mojo, what's up, man? Good to see you, brother. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Diamond Dog, thanks for dropping that like, brother. Much appreciated. And guys, if you haven't done so, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. We're still on that money grind. Are we there yet? Not yet. Hey, don't be bringing the cops to this meet. The last thing we need. Hey, uh, KDJ, shut up. Bullshit. Shut hey, up. Jeez. Damn straight, baby. Yeah, Cellcraft, exactly. <laughs> hit the hike button like Mike paid. Tyson's gonna hit Jake Paul. I hope Jake Paul understands what he's getting himself into. Mike Tyson is like 50-some years old. He's not to be messed with. All right. Job's done. Give me my 270K. He's 57, yeah. See, Mike Tyson has what's called old man's strength. Let's get rich, y'all. All right, where's Miss Government Pantsuit? There she is. Done. Yeah, you know, a typical influencer for, you know, trying to do things for, for uh, clout or for fame or whatever you want to call it, he's going to get in that ring with Tyson to get his butt handed to him. That's what's going to happen. All right, it's 270K. Let's go. Done. Okay, let's go back to the agency because I have to re-up and rearm. Well, listen, exactly. Tyson is a far more experienced boxer, a, a far more experienced fighter, I should say. He'll find out. Like I said, Jake Paul will find out. You know, a lot of these um, th these influencers, you know, I guess when you get so high up in the, the YouTube or social media food, food chain, excuse me, you got to do things um, to stay relevant. And that's exactly what these guys are doing. They're trying to stay relevant. All right. He's going to find out that... <laughs> Staying relevant at the expense of Mike Tyson probably wasn't a smart decision. What you carrying lately? Okay, let's re up. We'll see what's in the safe here. I right, think this go. safe is almost full as well. Ah, uh, body armor. All right. Let's take a walk downstairs. Keep your eyes open. And hope you guys are all doing well. If you haven't done so, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. Nice. This one's almost full. The nightclub, I believe, is almost full. I'm gonna. I'll, I'm not gonna pull money out of these safes until they're full. So we know that the uh, the arcade is. As a matter of fact, I think the arcade is full. Let's go over there and find out.
So we know that we have a full MC clubhouse. The MC clubhouse safe is full. Uh, the nightclub and the wall safe here are almost full. And the reason I'm waiting is because if you combine all of your wall safe's passive income, that's just under $1 million. It's just under $1 mil. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, unfortunately, the bunker is not going to be full. We can find out and see what our bunker status is. Let's have a seat. So, Jose Mangana, welcome to the channel. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. So, check it out. Your agency, nightclub, and salvage yard wall safes can hold a maximum of $250,000 each. Your arcade and your MC clubhouse safes can hold a maximum of $100,000 each. Yeah, uh, Diamond Dog, exactly. They're influencing kids. That's one of the big problems with uh, social media. Is that social media is... It, remember that it all started back in the late 90s with... Uh, Reality TV, the late 90s, early, early 2000, reality TV was the thing. Then when the internet became what it is now, you know, reality TV literally spawned into this uh, aberration called social media. So when social media became a thing, it was all about Facebook, MySpace, uh, you know, back then it was MySpace. That was the big social media thing. So when YouTube became a thing back in 2006, 2007, 2000, yeah, 2008 time frame when it really became big, that's when social media blew up. So the problem is that our children, I guess, are learning the wrong message from social media. Let's access the, the master control terminal. Uh, gun running. Let's take a look here. All right, so what do we got? So this thing is still relatively full. I don't need to order anything from my bunker. Okay, so we'll leave that alone then. And nightclub popularity is doing well. Okay, let's probably go by the nightclub. Oh, uh, Diamond Dog, yeah. Blew up for the worst. It did. That's it, it blew up and it became popular, but it became popular for the wrong reasons. So our children are learning the wrong lessons from it. Yeah, you're being exactly. That's why China had their own TikTok. But guess what? TikTok is the most popular app in the in the states right now. It is. It's <laughs> that's why the U.S. government's trying to ban it. Okay, so we are done here. Uh, we don't need to be an MC right now. Let's disband. Yeah, and that's, uh, Joey, that's one of the reasons why the U.S. government's trying to ban it. That's exactly why. Hey, Yaving, thank you so much for that massive super chat, man. Thank you. I appreciate you. And hey, thank you for that. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you for your message. God bless America. Thank you for your service. A, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Again, I didn't spend um, a great deal of time in, but I enjoyed the service, and I'm proud of the service that I had, uh, that I had in the U.S. Navy. So, uh, but I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for that massive donation, everybody. Let's get some O sevens out there in chat. Proper hand salute to your Ving. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. And that also extends to uh, Sailcraft as well, who's a fellow sailor. A fellow service member, I appreciate you too as well. Thank you for your service. All right, so we're done here at the arcade. We're just making sure that I have that I've got some progress going on on my arcade safes. <clears throat> uh, actually, let's see how much we've got in the arcade safe. What do we got here? So the arcade safe is full. That's good. So we have a full arcade safe. We have a full MC clubhouse safe. 
Hey, Mr. Maxeldone, welcome. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. There's a notification from Streamlabs. Again, Yubing, thank you so much for that massive donation, brother. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. So, yeah, Preston Bacalia, if and whenever your uh, delivery vehicle gets stuck, uh, buy an up and atomizer. Definitely buy an up and atomizer. That weapon is a godsend. It is. Hey, Cellcraft, no problem, brother. You got it. Absolutely. Okay, so those have been salvaged. All right, so we're done here at the arcade. Um, what else do I need to do? What with, Well, what we can do, uh, let's sell some acid. We're still on the uh, the money grind. We're still on the money grind. We're not done yet. we got to sell some acid. Oh, wait. Before we do that... Before we do that, let's go to let's go to the small crate warehouse and see where we are with that. Sugar Daddy, what's going on, brother? Welcome. Thanks for joining us. So your dad was Navy A. Salute to him. Salute to him as well. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. That's totally the wrong vehicle. Okay, so let's send that back. Manage, return. Johnny on the spot, you're fired. Actually, you know what? Let's just go straight to money grinding crates, or to grinding crates, I should say. Where is... There we go, mechanic. Uh, what I'm trying to do is um, grind a little more. I'm giving my wall safes a little more time to uh, to uh, max out before I pull money out of there. So, uh, terabyte mark two. Seriously, so 50 seconds. This game, I swear. Why is there a timer on requesting personal vehicles? I guess the game will break if we request too many personal vehicles at once. Yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that. He does. He points out Jimmy directly. So that leads me to believe... I know one thing doesn't really have anything to do with the other. It leads me to believe that we're going to see Jimmy and Michael DeSanta and even his his daughter. They're going to show up in the Winter DLC. Hi, I'll get back to work. So Preston, this is right here. This is the up anatomizer. If you look at my uh, weapon wheel... That right there, that's the up anatomizer. And I think you can you can probably get it. You can't get it from the gun band this week. And you should be able to buy it from any of the uh, ammunitions. You should be able to buy it from any of the ammunitions. Uh, JP uh, Cantrell, welcome to the channel. Good to see you. Thank you. That That's a good point. Uh, because I'm, I'm trying to stay caught up on chat. I totally forgot about that. But uh, since uh, the timer is up, let's go ahead and call up our oppressor. But that's totally true. I can use the uh, the the Sparrow. I, just, I don't like using the Sparrow helicopter because it's not the best helicopter in the game. It, as a helicopter, it sucks. <laughs> You're through to your garage. You uh, need me to bring you a ride? It's on the way. You know, if you throw a rock at it, it'll start to smoke, so... All right, let's go. All right, let's go check out the small crate warehouse and see how much we've got in there. Or actually, better yet, we know it's not full. Let's just head to uh, our uh, <coughs> our location, call up the terabyte, and begin uh, sourcing crates, shall we? Yeah, I agree. Just a temporary until the mechanic gets his timer out of the way. I do agree with that. I just I don't like flying the Sparrow helicopter. The thing is terrible. It's the fastest helicopter in the game, but 
I swear, if you if you throw a rock at it, or if you look at it the wrong way, it'll start to break. It'll just fall apart. Okay, services. Terabyte request. Uh, yeah, Diamond Dog, I agree. The Sparrow is the fastest chopper in the game. It's extremely agile, but I swear, it's very slippery. It's very slippery. Okay, so what do we got? MC, let's do it. Oh, wait, we can't be an MC. This is crates. I take that back. <laughs> this is crates. We don't want to be an MC. There we go. So, special cargo. Three crates, convenience store lockup. They got the product in the back of a truck. Pick it up and get it back to the warehouse. If something comes up on the drive, deal with it. All right, let's go. The, the, the Sparrow has its uses. The Sparrow does have its uses. Um, I am just not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it. Now, to be clear, when I first began the Kyle Perico heist on my main PC account, I couldn't afford an, an oppressor. And, but that's why I was money grinding at the time to afford an oppressor Mark II. So I used the Sparrow all the time. The Sparrow is just a... It, it is a trash helicopter in terms of its durability. It's not the most durable helicopter, but, I mean, it'll get the job done. What, now, what I do like about the Sparrow helicopter is that it has unli unlimited missiles. You can spam the missiles. There's no wait that, uh, cooldown for spamming missiles. You can continually hit that button and spam missiles all day. And I'm kind of surprised that Rockstar hasn't nerfed that yet. But that's one of the best things about it. Uh, yeah, I agree. The Akula is better. You know, it's funny because the Mark II Oppressor... Uh, basically has a bad reputation. You know, the, the Mark II is one of the best money grind vehicles in Grand Theft Auto, if that's what you use it for, a money grind vehicle. If you use it for griefing and trolling, then, you know, yeah, of course. But I like the Mark II. For me, it's the best money grind vehicle. The missiles suck, but in terms of getting from point A to point B... And uh, for convenience, I like it. I know a lot of people don't like the Mark II Oppressor, and I totally understand why. Yeah, Gamer Zero, I think you have a point. The Sparrow helicopter, when you look at it, it looks like a rather fragile helicopter. It doesn't look very durable. But it makes up for its durability with its missiles. The missiles aren't the most accurate. They're not the most accurate, but uh, like I said, you can spam those missiles and get the job done. That's what makes it a... It, it's a... It's not a good helicopter for me. It's a good helicopter, but it's not a good chopper for me. I personally would prefer the Buzzard because the Buzzard is a bit more durable. But yeah, it is the fastest helicopter in the game. Make no mistake, the Sparrow helicopter, as a matter of fact, I think the Sparrow and the Sea Sparrow, they're both the fastest choppers in the game. Now, one other thing that I like about the Sparrow is that it's a, it's a moon pool vehicle. You can store it in your submarine. And when I first began money grinding on the Cayo Perico heist, I used the Sparrow all the time. So yeah, it is definitely the fastest helicopter, but you guys are right. It has its purposes. I just don't like it because if you... The, there's no armor. The armor doesn't exist. And, you know, to give you another example of why I'm not a fan, when, you, uh, when you're when you completing scope-out missions, 
For the Kyle Frico heist, did you use a Sparrow helicopter? If you land too close to the drug vehicle or to the uh, smuggler's airplane, that one dude standing next to the smuggler's chopper will murk you out in half a second. He'll shoot right through the canopy and just murk you out. You're dead. And that's just because of a lack of armor on the helicopter. So I'm not really a fan. <laughs> Yeah, I, Joey, every lobby, if you join a public lobby, yes, it's used to grief. Yeah, uh, uh, JP, uh, Control, that's pretty much what I do. I use the Sparrow as a backup, but I'm always on my Mark II Oppressor. It's either the Mark II Oppressor or the uh, Deluxo for me. The Sparrow is a quick... It, it pretty much is a, a quick and easy form of transportation if you're waiting for something else to spawn. That's uh, Gamer Zero. That is actually true. You can add countermeasures to it. You can now, at least. Um, remember when the Union, not Union Depository, when the, uh, the, uh, Kyle Frico Heist, uh, DLC released, uh, you couldn't add countermeasures to the, uh, Sparrow Helicopter. I think it was with Operation Paper Trail. With the Paper Trail DLC, that's where they added the ability to add countermeasures. I think it was with Operation Paper Trail. They made some quality of life improvements. Done. All right, so we have... Nice, we got 12 crates. Ah, okay. So this thing's almost full. We can just about sell this one. A couple of more trips and we can sell this small crate warehouse. Let's, uh, let's do that. So Tony says organic produce is max. We need to go to the nightclub. We totally need to go to the nightclub. Let's not be a CEO. Let's uh, go to the nightclub and see what's going on with nightclub management. Uh, health and ammo, services, preferences. There we go. Now the funny thing is that I have noticed that my nightclub's definitely filling up faster than it has been before. Uh, it used to be 66 hours. Now, I think it's still 66 real-world hours to fill up a full nightclub if it's not fully upgraded. But because my nightclub is fully upgraded, maybe Rockstar made a change to it or something, but my nightclub is filling up really quickly. I only but sold a nightclub about two weeks ago. And because I only stream on this account twice a week, or money grind on this account twice a week, I think... Uh, we're looking at probably more like uh, every, uh, what is it, every 30 hours or so. I think that's when it builds up. Okay, let's go to the nightclub's full. That's good. Passive mode. All right, let's throw the bum out. And just in case anyone was wondering why I, I don't have any music playing in the background, uh, the music, the DJ's music is copyright. It's actual music from the actual DJ's. All right, so what else we got going on out there in chat? And again, thank you guys so much for joining us and sticking with us today. Uh, we're just doing some basic money grinding. I have the small crate warehouse is almost full, believe it or not. I only need four more, uh, six more crates. No, four more crates. I'm sorry. Four more crates and we can sell that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to grind four more crates and sell the small crate warehouse. 
So, Mr. Maxledome, passive mode, basically, it's a, it's a non-combative mode for, for players. So, if you're in passive, then no other player can attack you. Okay? You're basically transparent to them. Literally transparent uh, when you're in a public session. <laughs> so, that, that indicates that you are, in fact, in passive mode. So, no other player can attack you. Unless, of course, it's some modder, uh, some script kitty with a mod menu. Then, of course, there's not much you can do about that. But it's a non-combative mode that you can put yourself in that keeps you from being attacked from other players. Uh, the problem is that if you're in passive mode, then you can't manage any businesses. And you can't attack other players either. So it's kind of an anti-griefing measure, if you will. It keeps, you're, it keeps you from being griefed. So where is this guy? Is he complaining about his bill? He is. All right, let's throw the bum out. Okay, nice. So we don't need to be passive anymore. Excuse me. And the reason I went passive mode here in the nightclub is that whenever you go passive mode in the nightclub and you have to fill up or refill your popularity, uh, going passive ensures that you only get the uh, the mission to throw the guy out of your club. Uh, you won't get the mission where you have to escort somebody either home or to the uh, hospital which are far more time-consuming. So, Yving, for me, pizza. Absolutely, pizza all day long. Now, I will say this. Recently, I've been craving, and you guys are probably going to think this is strange, but I've been craving uh, a bacon-wrapped, deep-fried sausage. <laughs> bacon-wrapped, deep-fried sausage with sauerkraut <laughs> and everything else on it, which you can totally get those here, by the way. Okay, I need to sit down. Let's become a boss. Let's take a look at nightclub management here for just a second, and we'll go back to grinding crates. Uh, here we go. Yeah, seriously, I'm... I'm <laughs> Bacon, bacon wrapped deep fried sausage, and yes, you can totally get those here. They are good. Okay, nightclub management. So how are we? My guys should be warehouse men. They should be. Uh, let's see. They're all, yeah, they're all assigned. Everybody's assigned. Johan is organic produce. Yeah, my guys are assigned. So basically, it's a waiting game at this point. Oh yeah, and. Gamer Zero, yes. And chili cheese, yes. Chili cheese on those hot dogs, yes. It's got to be good chili, though. It has to be good chili. So Yuving says sushi or Oden. Sushi, of course. And in spite of what anybody may think, if you get the right kind of sushi, it's really good. Really good. All right, nice. So we're good here. Let's go back to managing crates, shall we? Uh, JP, you're right. That's absolutely true. Uh, you can rebook a DJ and that'll increase your popularity. It only costs 10K. That's true. Uh, my popularity here at the nightclub is full, so we're good to go. So Gamer Zero asks, is there good chili in here? Yes, there is. Yes. Yes. And I mentioned this earlier, but J uh, Japan is funny. Japan is a funny country. Uh, there's, of course, traditional Japanese food, but there is a lot of Western food here in Japan as well. And the Japanese are funny because they'll take Western food and crank it up to 11. Uh, Yuving, yes, it is big news. Oh, Tani Shohei-san, you're talking about, yes. Uh, his translator got fired by the L.A. Dodgers for uh, some kind of a money theft scandal. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to be any kind of a, uh, any kind of a criminal indictment toward the, his translator, but we'll, say, we'll find out. We'll definitely find out. 
Okay, so we don't need to be an MC. Let's go back to grinding crates. We're going to sell the small crate warehouse, then we'll transition to our Q&A session. But uh, yeah, Gamer Zero, to answer your question, Japan has some ridiculously good um, really, chili. Very good chili and actually really good curry. Anybody out there who likes curry, oh my god, did, you, you get it here. You get it here in Japan. Uh, Rad Grizz, that's correct, yes. There are different types of sushi. You've got sashimi, which is basically just raw fish. You have roll sushi, which is rolled in seaweed. And of course, you've got regular sushi, which is just, which is raw fish or different types of uh, seafood topped on rice. Oh, Gamer Zero, what you know about Coco's? What you know about Coco's, bro? Hey, Gamer Zero, bro. Coco's is one of the most popular curry houses here in Japan. Well, it's a family restaurant, but they specialize in, like, uh, curry, tonkatsu, and just, like, uh, uh, more or less like a home-cooked home -cooked experience. Really, really cheap and ex inexpensive and really good. There's some random cat coming my way. All right, so service vehicles, terabyte, requests. So uh, JP Con uh, Cantrell, there are, there are some forms of sushi where you have, uh, they have cooked fish uh, on top of rice. Uh, and of course, they've got the traditional sushi, which is raw fish on top of rice as well. So uh, not fried. Not fried necessarily, but it is cooked. Or different types, I should say. So Gamer Zero says level 7 all day. Yes. Coco's is the bomb here. Yes, it is. Okay, let's get them crates. And I'm having a little bit of an extended live stream today to... Uh, basically uh, get some more money grinding done as much as possible since the medium crate warehouse would take too long to fill up to become a CEO so uh, JP they make battered and fried sushi there that ain't real sushi <laughs> that that's some westernized stuff that ain't real sushi but then again that's okay because to each his own everybody likes a different kind of sushi Okay, we're going to get two crates each because there are uh, 12 crates in that warehouse now. Convenience store lock up. Let's do it. I got bad news. The seller had bad debts to bad people, and now they've got the goods. The location's on your GPS. Get the product if you can and bring it to the warehouse. Oh, great. I hate this mission. Yeah, that kind of sounds like tempura. Uh, tempura is definitely not sushi. Tempura is a whole nother cuisine, and it is good. If you like deep fried, think of tempura being a lot like fish and chips. I think that's the best way to describe it. And yes, it is good. So Gamer Zero, you have a few? Nice. Yeah, Coco's is the restaurant. That is definitely the restaurant to go to. Uh, here in Japan, it is, it's a nice, quick, easy kind of a family restaurant. Reasonably priced. Oh, these guys again? Hold on a minute. Let's murk these dudes out. Just need to make sure I don't hit the uh, the Winnebago. That would be bad. Where is this dude? 
You know what? We'll murk him out the right way. Where's he at? Alright, he's dead. Alright, let's grab the Winnebago. Uh, Gamer Zero, I absolutely love Korean barbecue. Yes, hold it. There's floor money out there. Floor money is good money. The fire department's here. Look at these guys. Let's get that floor money. <laughs> floor money is good money. Okay. Yeah, Korean barbecue is really good. Yes. And it is really popular here in Japan. What you have to do, if you ever visit Japan, make sure you go to the all-you-can-eat, the uh, the Korean barbecue Viking restaurants. Definitely go to the all-you-can-eat restaurants. Whenever we do, I try to put those guys in the red. I try to put them in the red. Get out of the way, firefighter. I'm trying to go. Okay, we're probably going to get attacked on our way, but we'll find out. Yeah, Gamer Zero, exactly. Meat only, please. We don't need anything else. Always get killed because of the NPCs. These guys are stupid. Yeah, that's what she said. But don't. <laughs> so, Cellcraft, you get your money's worth at. Uh, what is that? Ace? A sushi and Korean barbecue. Never heard of it. Sounds like a chain restaurant. So what's uh what's up, brother? Welcome. Good to see you, man. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we're having a bit of an extended live stream. I want to sell what's in my small crate warehouse. So we're doing a little bit of crate grinding. Uh, once the, I sell the small crate warehouse, we'll switch to our Q and A session. Get out of the way. Get out of here. Out. Ghost Rider, what's up, man? Welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us, brother. All right, shortcut. Worst delivery vehicle ever. So, Cellcraft, all-you-can-eat, yes, sir? Like I said, whenever we visit one of those all-you-can-eat restaurants, I try to put them in the red. I try to put them in the red. I want I want the, the owner to say, this dude's still here? What? We closed 20 minutes ago. You're still here, man? Get out of here. We're going to charge you double. That's what I want them to say. Ooh, spider rolls. That sounds good. Nice. Two crates down, two more to go. And like I said, we'll sell. We'll sell what's in the small crate warehouse. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm hungry. Exactly. 
Exactly. We need Valkyra back in here to talk to to talk to us some more about food. That's what we need. Yeah, I know she's probably sleeping right now. Okay, so I knew this wasn't LC, that everyone requests. Was but everyone at the same time. I'm gonna get a job in the video game biz so I can avoid rush out. Let's go. Yeah, I, I'm starving. As a matter of fact, as soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna grab a bite to eat. <laughs> Once we're finished with the stream. Gerald, shut up. I don't want to talk to you. Now, for additional content today, after the stream, I'm going to release the uh, Podium Car video early because I've won it twice. I won it on my PC account, my alternate, uh, or, well, this account as well. So what I'm going to do is release it today. Then I'll release another video. It'll be the same video on this character, on a different character. So it'll be a different video for the same car. And I'll release that one, I think, on Wednesday night after Wednesday's stream. Which is typically when I do it. But if you guys haven't won the uh, podium car this week, the Night Shark, and you don't have it, you need to get it. It's worth it. Totally worth it. So Mr. Maxodome says pretzels and mustard. It has to be, they got to be good pretzels. They got to be the, the big, the big, uh, you know, the big soft pretzels are fine. And the big hard pretzels are fine as well. But it has to be the right kind of pretzel. Hey, uh, Yuving, that's what we do here. We talk about food. We talk about all kinds of crazy stuff. But food, definitely. <laughs> definitely food. So what do we got here? Two crates. We got two minutes on convenience store lockup. Okay, so we'll do three crates. Discount retail. That way we don't have to wait. Confirm. Just ping the collection location through to you. Pick up the goods and bring them back to the warehouse. I don't anticipate any trouble. Yeah, Aunt Annie's pretzels. Never heard of it. That sounds like a chain a chain restaurant, I think. Sounds like it. Again, I'm not sure. Uh, we can get those here. You can totally get those here, but typically you don't find the really big pretzels unless you go to a specialty restaurant. Uh, those are, because they're not traditional, they're niche foods here in Japan. So you have to go to like a specialty restaurant to find it. Oh, I know what you're talking about now. I got you. On Annie's. Now I understand. It's been so long since I've been in the States. It's been a very long time since I've seen those. Aunt Annie's pretzels. I know which ones you're talking about now. Yes. Uh, on a slightly different topic, I want to ask anyone out there, because I haven't uh, checked the updates recently uh, since going live. Has there been any update? Has there been any update on uh, uh, the Gilly Master situation? Uh, has he posted a new video yet? Rockstar, fix your flying broomsticks. And it's another Winnebago. Nice. We're going to get murked out again. Ooh, Dan Red's cheese sauce. Man, that sounds good. A cheese sauce on pretzels? Yes, sir. All day. So, Gamer Zero, is that the situation now? I'm going to check out that video. And I'm debating on whether or not I should publish a video on it myself, because that's just wrong. That's wrong. You know, that whole situation really pisses me off. These big publishers like Microsoft, Microsoft, Sony, they're quick to take our money. They want us to buy their stupid product. They want to, they take our money. They take our money but they don't want to provide us with a, with a proper product. They don't want to protect players from any kind of uh, exploits. 
that exists on their network infrastructure. This is one of the major advantages of playing something like Grand Theft Auto, a live service game like Grand Theft Auto Online on the PC. There's no need for a live service, uh, a, a third party live service. There's no need for it. You know, if you're on PC, you you plug up, you, you turn on your PC, you launch the game, that's it. You go straight online. As long as you've got net, uh, an internet connection, you go online and you're playing with the boys. With these consoles, you gotta buy the game, you gotta buy the console, then you gotta buy into, you gotta rent, not rent, but you gotta uh, subscribe to a live service. That's BS. And then you're subject to... You're subject to some stupid TOS that doesn't protect you. How does that make any sense? Like I said, they need they need to get their uh, heads out of their butts and stop sm smelling their own farts with this one and solve that problem. They need to fix that. So JP says throw a uh, throw a sticky bomb out the window. I'm not going to bother with that. That's just because I would spend more time trying to throw sticky bombs out, and the NPCs will attack you in uh, what is it? Four waves of two. You got to deal with four waves of two. I ain't got time for that. It's easier for me to just deliver the stupid Winnebago with the crates. And, you know, that's the problem. That's the big problem with um, uh, playing on a console versus, you know, vices on the PC. Because, yeah, and Woodcroft is correct. You got to pay for a stupid online service, subscription service, just to be able to play an online game. You don't have to do that if you own a PC. It's just like with Grand Theft Auto Online. You don't have to pay for an online subscription service to play GTA Online. You buy the game, fire it up on your PC, and that's it. You're off to the races. That's the problem. Okay, let's see. Where's my oppressor? All right, let's go. We got two more crates and we can sell the small crate warehouse. Hey, AJ Banks, thanks for sticking with us. We got 97 likes. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Yes, guys, if you haven't done so, please do me a massive favor. Hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. Yeah, the live stream today began on a fiery note because I was really pissed. And I'm still pretty pissed about the, uh, the Gilly Master situation. I'm really angry about that because anybody, whether you're on PlayStation or Xbox, uh, you have to agree that you know we're spending money on these services, on just on the games, which is something that we own, and of course on the service to be able to play the game live. And yet, these multi-billion-dollar developers still haven't figured out basic security. So it's something that really pisses me off. It does. Gilly Master didn't deserve that. It's there for taking. Get it and bring it back to the warehouse. But that's also one of the reasons why I, uh, unfortunately, have had to state that we're, we won't be able to host any crew sessions until Rockstar, not Rockstar, it's not Rockstar's fault. We like to blame Rockstar for everything, but we won't be able to host crew sessions uh, until Xbox gets their heads out of their butts and figures out this problem. All right, let's get those crates. We got two crates left. So yeah, I was pretty livid when I began the stream today.
that whole situation is just wrong. You know, Gilly Master is doing something for his community by hosting, uh, you know, he's one of the biggest uh, GTA content creators on the platform. And, you know, for somebody to, to target him that way, and that's under, let's understand something. This was a targeted attack. You know, for someone to target him that way was wrong. And, you know, and it, it, uh, it shows that the, the networking infrastructure for Xbox Live is plagued with security flaws. And, and there are exploits that people are taking advantage of. And I sincerely think that uh, if this is the way, <coughs> excuse me, companies like Xbox... If this is the way they're going to cheat us, then... Then we need to reconsider our purchase to, uh, our purchase policy. I gotta take out that helicopter. Yeah, I was too busy talking, I wasn't paying attention. This is a sting operation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so let's park the van. Uh, there we go. When in doubt, where's that stupid helicopter? Come on! Problem solved. <laughs> Let's see if we can outrun the cops in a van. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Shortcut. They totally didn't need that fence. What's that? Yeah, fart gas? Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> At least Rockstar has a sense of humor, right? At least they have a sense of humor. <laughs> that is funny. I just realized that. Fart gas. <laughs> it says pumping warmth. That's what it says. Pumping warmth. Pumping warmth into your home. <laughs> like I said, at least Rockstar's devs have a sense of humor. Alright, let's get this delivered and we will sell what's in the small crate warehouse. Now, I will say this. The last time I tried to do a sell, sell mission for the small crate warehouse, uh, I had an air mission and I got attacked. <laughs> I was attacked by a bunch of buzzard helicopters. Didn't go well. So, at the first sign of trouble, if I see that kind of BS this time, we're just going to change sessions and uh, we'll lose a crate and we'll start over again. And actually, guys, that reminds me, uh, we're going to buy some cars today, some vehicles. There are a couple of vehicles that I want to buy today. I said I'm probably going to hold off on the Ignis 
Oh, it's down there. Probably going to hold off on the Ignis until the next uh, upcoming event, or, or not event, but that the uh, next the next live stream. Boom! There we go. But I think I'm gonna have to buy the weaponized Ignis. It's the fastest supercar in the game with HSW. Okay, done. Boom. Yeah, uh, Dan Red, the that air mission, I lost a full warehouse. I lost a full warehouse because I got murked out instantly by a bunch of buzzard helicopters. I didn't even have time to change sessions. I couldn't even cancel out. So, Yuving, no, I don't have the Chernobog, bog, but I'm going to buy the Chernobog. bog. That's one of them. Shut up, Madrazo. I don't want to talk to you. So, yeah, I'm getting them. Yes, the Insurgent Custom and the Chernobog. bog. Those are the two vehicles that I want. Those are two of the vehicles that I want. And the Chernobog bog is, I just want it because it, 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 it's like 600,000. Okay, so we have 240,000 for 16 crates. Let's do it. And don't give me any BS about a stupid air mission. There we go. You're all loaded up and ready to move. Get the goods to the drop-off and this deal is done. But hey, I'd keep an eye out for anyone trying to intercept you on the road. Okay, she just said it. We're going to get attacked. Hold on a minute. Let's put some armor on. Gun out. All right, now we're ready. Let's do it. So, yep, this is an easy delivery right here. Let's go. So, yeah, we're going to get attacked. I'll, if, if anybody comes this way, I'm just going to run them off the road. So, this is an easy 240k. Yes, sir. Let's get that money. Oops. <laughs> Who put that tree in my way? What's that all about? Where'd that tree come from? Now, if we don't get attacked, I'll be surprised. Ah, uh, this one's at that hotel near uh, Pacific Bluffs. Oh, no, it's not. It's right up the street. Okay. Super easy. All right, one down. Vehicles request. Give me my oppressor. Yeah, we might get attacked on the second delivery for the second truck. No problem. We got something for him if it happens. Trust me, we got something for him. Ooh. So you're being seriously spicy western double burger. Ooh. Oh, that sounds good. Speaking of food, since we're talking about food, you guys know who, you know who Guy Fieri is, right? He used to have a series back in the early, uh, back in the early 2010s called Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. And I used to watch a lot of his stuff on YouTube. Well, he, uh, he went to one burger restaurant where th this guy, his blood type must be maple syrup. <laughs> it must be maple syrup because I swear he took... He took a he took a a hamburger. Yeah, Cellcraft, you know what I'm talking about. Triple D, yes. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. He took 
a a fully prepared max this this hamburger was huge this wasn't a small burger this thing was like a, a, a quarter pounder on steroids he took a full hamburger he uh he lettuce pickles onions the works this thing was massive it was massive so what did he do next he dipped the hamburger he dipped the hamburger in batter he dipped it in batter then he deep fried it he deep fried the whole freaking hamburger we're talking about bun and everything he dipped it in batter deep fried it and this thing looks so freaking good it was a deep fried hamburger and we're not just talking about the hamburger patty so Rad Grizz, you may have seen that one I remember that distinctly it was a hamburger basically he dipped it in batter and deep fried it <laughs> hey we got a new sub let's go so Alexi Believ welcome to the odd ones everybody let's get some 07s out there in chat for our new subscriber excuse me Alexi Believ thank you for joining us welcome to the odd ones thank you for your subscription and your support welcome but yeah, that I think about that hamburger all the time. Seriously, that was the best looking hamburger ever. He he took he deep fried a hamburger. It was a whole hamburger. He dipped it in batter and deep fried it. Like I said, this guy's his blood type must be it must be maple syrup. So hey, we got a new sub, another one. Let's go. Ziggy the Dude, welcome to the Odd Ones. So everybody, let's get some 07s out there in chat for our new subscriber. Ziggy the Dude, welcome to the Odd Ones. Thank you for your subscription and your support. Welcome. Boom! 240,000. Done. Let's go. Easy money. All right. That's done. Okay, so with that out of the way, we are done with the money grind. I'll take care of everything else off stream, but let's see what we got here. Let's, uh, preferences. Actually, give me my oppressor. What is this? Let's not be a CEO. We don't want to get raided. And vehicles request. <clears throat> Gamer Zero says, time for lunch. Bruh. I'm starving. I don't know about you guys. But yeah, that's that. That's the one episode of Diners Drive Into Dives that really caught my attention. Well, I mean, that one, and of course, he went to that place called the Burger Bond in, in Wisconsin. Where they had some really good-looking hamburgers there, but I don't think I'd be very welcome there, so... Don't think I'd be welcome there, so I don't think I'm going <laughs> to concern myself with that. Um, yeah, he he went uh, he went to that place. And I kind of like watching those uh, those programs. Only because it, it reminds me of what I'm missing by being stuck in Japan all these years. Okay, let's go to the uh, LS car meet, shall we? I just want to check one thing out. So we're going to buy some cars right now. So right now we're switching to uh, we're switching to Q and A session. This is the part of the live stream where we sit back and have a conversation. We talk, we chill out after a hard day of money grinding and running missions. So this is the part of the stream where we just kind of hang out since the hardcore money grinding is done for today. So, you being I've seen Kitchen Nightmares. Uh, what's this? I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, that I can't think of his name, but you guys know who I'm talking about. That uh, that that Master Chef, that British Chef. God, I can't remember his name. He is hilarious. Hey, we got a new sub. Let's go. 
So, Sky Captain, four, welcome to the odd ones. Welcome to the odd ones. Everybody, let's get them, uh, those 07s out there. Excuse me. Thank you, Gamer Zero, Gordon Ramsay. Uh, thank you for your subscription and your support. Uh, Sky Captain 4, welcome. Thank you so much. Get some 07s. Proper hand salute. Thank you so much for that subscription. So, Gordon Ramsay, thank you. I couldn't think of his name, probably because I'm hungry right now and I'm going hypoglycemic. Or hyperglycemic, excuse me. But uh, Gamer Zero, to answer your question, short, uh, short and concisely, that's just... You know, I've been to the Midwest before. Um, it's... I'm, I'm just going to say it's unique. Wow, that's a nice customization on there. And white rims, too. I might have to do this. That is a nice customization on that car. So yeah, I, I just don't think I'd be very welcome there. So we're, we're, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. But yeah, I've seen Kitchen Nightmares. Gordon Ma Ramsay, when he, when he loses his mind, he's hilarious. He is absolutely hilarious. Okay, so here's the weaponized Ignis with How's Special Works. This is a sick customization. This is a sick customization. Yeah, Rad Grizz, I agree. I agree. He's the kind of he's the kind of critic that you want to score your restaurant because uh, the whole point behind a restaurant is to make money, right? So you definitely want to make sure that you're doing it properly. And we got to remember that what he shows is more than just uh, reality TV. It's more than just for the production. So yeah, uh, Gamer Zero, you understand what I mean? Again, I don't want to talk politics or get into any kind of social social stuff here. That's not what we're going to do here. All I'm going to say is that it's it's uh, it's unique, and I don't think I'd be welcome there. So, and we'll leave it at that. <laughs> okay, how much is this thing anyway? So, it is 3.1 mil right now. The uh, the weaponized ignis is 3.1 mil. HSW is an extra 500000 So this car right here is still cheaper. It's still cheaper with HSW. It's still cheaper than the, uh, than the Gauntlet Interceptor. Not bad. That's not bad at all. I will probably pick this up during the next live stream. This I love this customization. This is a nice customization. And that chameleon paint's pretty fire. With that livery, that's pretty fire. I like it. So I might pick this one up during the next live stream. Definitely during this event week. Yeah, Radgriz, not bad. That's not bad. And like I said, this car right here is still cheaper. It's still cheaper. For, and, and consider, with this customization and with the HSW, with HSW, making it the fastest supercar in the game. It's cheaper than the Gauntlet Interceptor, which is just a basic Gauntlet Hellfire with a police livery. So, Jose Mangana, uh, to answer your question, sorry I missed that, but first, before we get there, hey, we got a new sub. So, the monkey, welcome to the odd ones. Thank you for your subscription, everybody. Let's get some 07s out there in chat for our new subscriber, The Monkey. Welcome to the Odd Ones. Thank you for your subscription and your support. But, uh, Jose, uh, to answer your question, we did Kayo earlier. We did Kayo Preco earlier at the beginning of the live stream. And we had to wait two hours and two and a half hours for the cooldown. So, uh, I'm not going to do another Kayo tonight because it's getting late. Uh, right now, we're in Q&A session. So, this is the part of the stream where we sit back. And we have a conversation and we kind of chill out after a hard day of money grinding. So, But as I was saying, this thing right here, this car right here is better than the Gauntlet Interceptor. Yeah, Rad Grizz, don't, don't get me started on that. I don't understand why Rockstar hasn't released at least some of the, uh, the next-gen content on old-gen. They can do it. So, Radquiz, what about the other three? Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so the Cheetah class, the Cheetah I have. I got the Cheetah. That one I have. 
The sh this is the shafter long wheelbase. You don't want this one. You don't want the shafter long wheelbase. And the reason being is because even though it's a removed website car, uh, if you want to get a shafter, let's go to the website right now. If you're going to buy a shafter, get the shafter V12. Let's see if I can find it. This is the one that you want right here. You want the shafter V12. This car, this sedan, is an absolute freaking beast. Fully upgraded. It is ridiculously fast. This is what you want right here. You want the shafter V12. Uh, and that's because it's one of the fastest sedans in the game. No joke, it's one of the fastest sedans fully upgraded. The shafter long wheelbase is not as fast. It doesn't have the same handling and characteristics. It's a bigger, heavier car, so it feels like a bigger, heavier car. But the Shafter V12 is nuts. It is mental. So this is the Anis... What is this? The the X80R? Or what's, what is this? The S80RR. Okay. Uh, the S80RR I have. I won this one at the Lucky Wheel. I got this one from the Lucky Wheel. So that one I have. And the Cheetah I have. And I already own the Benefactor Shafter. So I, the Shafter V12, that is. So I don't need the Shafter long wheelbase. So you think, what happened? The restaurant canceled your order. That's just wrong. What'd they cancel it for? Yeah, and, and Woodcroft and Gamer Zero, that's another problem. There's no reason why they can't release this on PC. I had thought, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I thought they would have released Expanded and Enhanced on the PC by now. Oh, let's, before we go, there are two vehicles that we're going to buy right now. Let's go to the web. Warstock, and let's see if we can find it. So here's the normal weaponized Ignis. It's 3,150,000, but with HSW, it's 3,800,000. So HSW is about 500 grand. So I think I'm going to buy the HSW version, but I'm going to wait until the next upcoming, uh, until my next live stream to buy it, which will be Wednesday. So Woodcroft says, I don't have a console. It would be too expensive to migrate. Yeah. Uh, Woodcroft, I would say hold off. Hold off on buying a console. I sincerely think that Rockstar is going to release Expanded and Enhanced on the PC. It's going to happen at some point. I'm not sure what Rockstar is waiting for, but I think they're going to release it on PC at some point. So I would hold off. So the B-11 Strike Force is not worth it, in my opinion. I don't do a lot of flying in Grand Theft Auto, except on my oppressor. Ah, here we go. Here it is. So, if you buy either the Chernobog, the Chernobog, the, uh, the APC, or the Insurgent Pickup, you get a free t-shirt. You get a rare t-shirt. That's kind of funny. So Gamer Zero, you don't think it'll happen? I will be honest with you. I thought that uh, I thought that Expanded and Enhanced would be released on PC right now, or by now at least. There's something that Rockstar is waiting on. They're waiting on something that's preventing them from releasing it on PC yet. I don't know what it is. I'm not entirely sure what it is. So we're gonna buy the Chernobog. Hey, free T-shirt. Let's go. So I've been wanting to buy the Chernobog since like forever. So we got the Chernobog. Let's go. Remember that you must own a facility to buy a Chernobog. So nice, we got one. Okay, so we have that. All right, now where's the insurgents? I don't think I have enough space at my uh, 
facility for the insurgent, but we'll find out. I would buy the APC. I would buy the APC, but this cannon, this gun right here, it only works if you're sitting in the passenger seat, <laughs> so, which makes no sense. It's a tank cannon uh, or uh, an anti-personnel cannon, but guess what? It doesn't work unless you got somebody in the passenger seat. You can't operate that cannon from the uh, driver's seat, so I'm not going to buy it. So Woodcroft says, buy a t-shirt, get a terminal bot for free. That's how it should have been, huh? Uh, Gamer Zero, you are correct. You are absolutely correct about that. The whole point behind Expanded and Enhanced was to attract, was to bring, not necessarily to attract, but also to to bring the current version of Grand Theft Auto up to spec with the current gen console. Now, consider this. The PC version of Grand Theft Auto, and we, and we talk about this all the time, has the game files right now for Expanded and Enhanced. That's why if you log into a public session uh, on PC, sometimes you'll see unreleased vehicles from, uh, and, when I, and when I say unreleased, I'm talking about vehicles that exist on the vehicles, weapon skins, everything, some things that exist on the expanded and enhanced version of the game on console that shouldn't be on PC. Uh, you'll see those, you'll see people in public sessions either flying around in those vehicles, driving in those vehicles, or they'll have those customizations. So those game files, in fact, if you search through the game files, excuse me, game files, you'll see content for Expanded and Enhanced. So the game files are there. They're on the PC version of the game. Rockstar just hasn't released them yet. So I think it's only a matter of time. I think they will. You do have a good, you, you are correct right there, though. You do definitely have a good point. So Wayne's World Productions, welcome, brother. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're in Q&A session right now, so so this is the part of the stream where we kind of sit back and chat and have a call, a conversation. And uh, I do agree, it does suck. So uh, you already own those vehicles. Yeah, I never bought the Chernobyl. There it is. So what do you need to do? to get the uh, trade price for this. I think you got to complete... Oh, it's the the Humane Labs raid. you got to complete the Humane Labs mission for this to get the... the uh, to unlock the trade price. Uh, I'm going to buy it now. I'll buy it. It's 40% off. I'm going to buy it now. So, I got another heavy t-shirt. Nice. So, those are the two vehicles that I wanted to buy. Two of them right now. I'll get the third vehicle during the next live stream. Okay, so we need to convert the Insurgent Pickup to the Pickup Custom. So, you being you bought the Chernobog today as two? Not today as well? Nice. Yeah, I gotta buy the Chernobog on my other accounts now, because the Chernobog's not gonna get cheaper than this. Unless it goes half off during Black Friday or something like that, you're not gonna get it cheaper than that. <clears throat> so Radgridge, you're saving for the Phantom Wedge. Good move, man. That's a smart move. Definitely a smart move. The Phantom Wedge is worth the money. Yeah, Gamer Zero, I agree. The uh, the pickup custom, worth it. Absolutely. So we got to convert that to the pickup custom. So what I'm going to do is let's call up because right now it's a Pegasus vehicle. So what I'm going to do is call up my MOC services MOC requests. Oh, I got a terabyte. That's right, the terabyte's out. Hold on a minute. Let's let's put the terabyte back. <laughs> terabyte uh, return to storage. And let's call up the MOC, shall we? So 
Services, MOC, request. Mr. Macdonald says hard mode. <laughs> yeah, we already got hard mode locked in. We've already got hard mode, so that's giggity giggity. <laughs> We've already got hard mode, no problem. Okay, let's call the... Pegasus, you guys suck. Let's go ahead and convert this thing right freaking now. Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How Weaponized pickup custom. There we go. Or pickup, so I should say. Your vehicle is available for collection right now. We hope you're very happy, sir. So Radgriz, no. Unfortunately, the MOC missions must be done with a crew. Or you must have at least one additional player with you, but they're not solo friendly. Unfortunately. Check that thing out. That's nice. Always wanted one of these. But I have the MOC so that I can have a mobile, uh, a mobile vehicle workshop. That's why I have the MOC, and it was dirt cheap. I bought it at on during Black Friday, I think. All right. So let's modify this thing, just to let everyone know we are in. Yeah, we can upgrade this to the customized variant. So we are in Q&A session. That's all it costs to upgrade? Yeah, let's do that. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm not going to make this a... This is not going to be a full-blown uh, customization. I just wanted to convert this to the uh, Insurgent Pickup Custom so that I could have... Uh, or not have it uh, as a Pegasus vehicle. Pegasus vehicles suck. So let's exit the MOC. Yeah, the minigun is a nice addition. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but don't you have to unlock... You got to unlock the minigun through Bunker Research, correct? Hey, so uh, I know you've been there already. But Poo just called and said I can come through and get a tour of Dre's studio as a thank you for what we did for him. Lamar crazy ass her, so you know that fool gonna be here too. But it's gonna be cool. We'll do it whenever it's good for you. Man, I'm excited for this. Look, bring a friend if you like. Okay. I'm gonna drop this off here for the time being. There we go. Just because. Ah, so that and the full armor plating. Okay, interesting. So you talk about being out of place. The Insurgent Pickup Custom doesn't even belong here. But I got to clear up space. <laughs> I got to go clear up space at my uh, my uh, uh, Doomsday facility. I've got too many vehicles out there. Uh, Woodcroft, it'll go to a random vacant garage. Uh, you won't lose the car. When you buy when you buy a vehicle like that, after you convert it, after you can upgrade it to a the custom variant, for example, it becomes a personal vehicle, which means that it automatically has the insurance and the tracker, so you can't lose it. It'll just uh, be transferred over to a vacant garage somewhere. All right. Let's become a boss. MC. Let's send the MOC back, shall we? Services. MOC return. Tell me if I have the big C. Everyone here 
is an idiot and I don't care about that shit. Hey, let's go take a look at our journal bog. Okay. Okay, I'll see you soon. Thanks. I love you. All I need to hear. Bye. So Radgris, you thought it happened to you, now you've got two insurgents? <laughs> yeah, that does happen. You don't when you convert an insurgent pickup to a custom variant, it becomes a personal vehicle, so you don't lose a personal vehicle. Now I will say that when Rockstar first released what update? It was the uh the Mercenaries DLC, where players were losing vehicles. Last summer. That's when it happened. Uh, for some reason, when Rockstar released the DLC, uh, players were automatically losing their insurance on their vehicle. So if something happened to their vehicle, they would lose it. Hey! We got a new sub. Let's go. So Al... Kalantanti, welcome to the Odd Ones. Thank you so much for your subscription and your support. Welcome to Al Kalantanti. Kalantani. Sorry about that. Kalantani, welcome to the Odd Ones. Everybody, 07s out there in chat, proper hand salute. Thank you for your subscription and your support. You guys have been coming in clutch today. Thank you guys so much. All right. Let's check out our brand new journal bog, shall we? Let's go. So Woodcroft, you accidentally bought two sea, two sea sparrows because you didn't know that one went in a hangar. Ah, there it is. This is one of the most ridiculous vehicles in the game, I swear. But I had to have it. I had to get me a Chernobog. <laughs> I had to buy one. This thing is absolutely insane. It's absurd. And believe it or not, it's based on a real-life vehicle. Absolutely ridiculous. So how many cars do I have here? Okay. Yeah, we're pretty much filled or maxed out for private vehicle storage. Specialty vehicle storage, we've got two, I think, left. But I've been meaning to get this thing for quite some time. <clears throat> uh, Dan Red, yes. You have until the end of the event week while it's on sale. That's why I bought mine, because I've always wanted one. Yeah, Woodcroft. The more ridiculous, the more I want to buy it. This this thing is absolutely absurd. Look at it. It's absurd. The problem is that it doesn't have any armor protection on it. So if you get hit with one missile, that's pretty much it. It's done. But very rarely can you buy a vehicle like this. It's got a no, it's got a license plate too. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to change that license plate. We got to change that plate right now. Let's do that. Let's change the plate on this thing. All right, workshop. And let's just change the plate for right now. We'll do respray and all that other stuff later. So we want to go. You guys already know what it is. Black and yellow, baby. All right, that's done. Uh, Woodcroft, yes, you have to own a facility. You must own a facility to get a Chernobog. Alejandro, what's up, brother? Welcome, man. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us again. Hope you're doing well. So, Dan, you don't think you've ever owned one? I know this is my first journal box, so I'm pretty stoked that I have it. I've always wanted to get one, just never, never bought one. So, Woodcroft says, there goes your hard-earned money, then. It depends on how badly you want it.
Okay, hey, Mr. Maxidone, we'll see you next time. Take care of yourself. God bless to you, brother. We'll see you next time. Yeah, we're finishing up. This is the uh, the Q&A session, so we're just kind of having a conversation before we end the stream. So again, Monkey, thank you for your subscription and your support. Uh, Monkey says, there's a new Marvel movie coming next year. Yeah, Marvel Studios has kind of been on a tear with making uh, movies. Most of them recently have been pretty bad. They've been pretty bad, so... Let's hope they turn things around with the next uh, with their next movie. I'm not sure which one it is or which one it's going to be. I I stopped watching Marvel movies after Avengers Endgame, and that's just because Marvel went woke. I do think yeah, Gamer Zero. I agree. Deadpool three is probably going to be fire. Yeah, but I yeah, uh, uh Rad Grizz exactly. Uh, the problem is that if the M, like they say, the MCU become the M, uh, became the MCU. The MCU became the MCU. It's all about social justice, this feminism, that woke, this. You know, I'm sorry, I'm just not interested. I stopped watching uh, the Marvel movies or the Marvel Cinematic Universe after um, the Avengers Endgame. That was their last good movie. Yeah, I'm uh I'm looking forward to Deadpool 3. Looking for I'm looking forward to it. I think there let's let's be clear. There hasn't been a bad Deadpool movie yet. Not yet. So I think Deadpool 3 is going to be fire. So yeah, I am looking forward to seeing it. That is of course if uh who's who's running the the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now? Is it Kevin Feige? Is he the uh, producer? I can't remember. I think it's Kevin Feige. But as long as he doesn't pull a uh, a Star Wars on this one. Yeah, I can't remember who the producer is for the, the Marvel Cinematic Universe over at Disney. Uh, yeah, Woodcroft. Madam Webb was... Uh, Madam Web was complete and total trash. Just like the Marvels was complete and total trash. Now, to be clear, I liked, I enjoyed Captain Marvel. The first Captain Marvel movie, I enjoyed it. I thought it was interesting. It was good. What they did afterwards was just utter, it's just garbage. Utter and complete garbage. No, Madam Madam Web was trash. I don't know what they were thinking. And the worst part about Madam Web is that you know these these uh, social agenda driven movies are supposed to be about inclusiveness, this uh, equality, that. What did they do during this movie? D during that movie, they made stereotypes of each one of the characters, each one of the female characters. They made stereotypes. They had they had some sister on there with with afro puffs. She had a she had an afro. Seriously. How is this represent? How is this representative? Racial stereotypes? Don't even get me started. That movie was complete trash. So Gamer Zero says the Marvels wasn't awful, but it was. Yeah, um, Gamer Zero, I got to disagree with you. The Marvels was trash. It was garbage. I don't know what they were thinking when they made that movie, or who they were trying to make that movie for. Who was that movie for? I guess that was a better question. Ah, okay, so it's going to be Captain America and Black Panther based on 1943 Rise of Hydra. That might be a pretty good movie. That is, of course, if uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe doesn't screw it up. As long as it doesn't become some woke MCU nonsense. Not MCU, MCU. I need to move these vehicles out of here. Don't ask me why I've got two. <laughs> I've got two uh, uh, Karen Rebels sitting in my my Doomsday facility. I was too late to move them to my other garage. Sorry about that. 
So Yuving says Madagascar is the best movie. Haven't seen Madagascar. Haven't seen it. Yeah, Woodcroft. I remember Dakota Johnson says she she was not happy with that movie. Not happy at all. And she did say she would never do it again. So it's going to be made by Marvel and Skydance. As I understand it, Skydance Studio is looking at buying Star Trek, the Star Trek franchise, I think. Uh, yeah, Woodcroft, no, there's not going to be, <laughs> there, there will be no Madam Web 2. Not unless Disney wants to lose any even more money than they already have. There won't be a Madam Web 2. So what's that Madagascar one? Not really too big on the uh, the who made that? Was that a Pixar movie or was that uh, Dreamcast? Not Dreamcast, DreamWorks. Not really too big on those animated movies. There were very few of the the CGI animated movies that I watch. <clears throat> okay, David Mark, and we'll see you next time, brother. Take care of yourself. Thank you for sticking with us this long. God bless to you, bro. We'll see you next time. So Selcraft says he liked King Julian. I'll need to I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. I'll need to check up on it. Yeah, Madam Web was garbage. Madam Web was complete and total garbage. And that, and I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> so, you know, one of my favorite movies, it's it's been out for a few years now. Uh, but one of my favorite movies was uh, 13 Hours. Uh, because I read the book. I read the book, then I saw the... Uh, I saw the movie. And I said, yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> but 13 Hours was an excellent movie. Oh, so that was Selcraft. That was a uh, character in Madagascar. Gotcha. Yeah, like I said, I haven't seen Madagascar, so I have no idea. So you watched it because it's fun and funny. Gotcha. Never watch, never watch Human Centipede. Never heard of it. So I will take your recommendation and not watch it. Oh, yeah, uh, Gamer Zero, you're right about that. Uh, women enjoy bro movies just as much as bros do. Just as much as do. That is true. Here's the deal. People like watching good movies. People want to see good movies. People want to see good movies. So, <laughs> that's funny. You guys are saying don't watch it. Hey, I will take your recommendation. I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to watch it. So, I'll take your recommendation on it. So, yeah, uh, the deal is that the average moviegoer, they want to see a good movie. You know, people want, why, why do we play video games? Why do we play, why do we watch movies? You know, because we want, we want, to, we want that escapism. And, and that's what it is. It's escapism. We want to separate ourselves from reality for a bit. You know, we want that suspension of disbelief. We want to be um, uh, taken away from reality. That's what movies allow us to do. The problem is that modern Hollywood and we talked about this during the previous live stream, overcorrected with this social justice agenda BS, with this push for equality and everything else, that they got rid of all the good writers. And uh, and, and exactly, Gamer Zero, we, we watch for the enjoyment. We want our suspension, of, we want our belief to be suspended, our disbelief that is. Okay, we want to be able to enjoy a movie and take ourselves away from reality for just two hours. That's it. Uh, nobody wants to be force-fed someone's social justice grievance politics, and that's what's happened with Hollywood now. Uh, they're pushing their social justice agenda and shoving it down everyone's throats, and people are sick and tired of it. 
That's why Hollywood in general is losing a ton of money. They're losing money. But for some reason, Hollywood as, a, as an industry, they don't seem to get it. I've heard about that. I've heard The Beekeeper was a good movie. I'm probably going to check on that. So Dragon Ball Evolution was the failure of making movie from anime. Dragon Ball Evolution was uh, it was a live action movie made uh, representation of an anime that didn't uh, need or deserve to be made. That's Hollywood screwing around with something that didn't need to be uh, that did not need to be made at all. So Jose says Beekeeper, ten out of ten. I'm going to check that out. Definitely check it out. Okay, so guys, it is 8.18 p.m. for me. We've been on for about six hours. This was a long one, but uh, I wanted to get some money grinding out of the way. So uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us today. Seriously, thank you guys so much for coming in clutch for the channel. Special welcome to our new subscribers, uh, and especially if you are new out there. Uh, just to let everyone know, after every, after every live stream or at the end of every live stream, we have a Q&A session where we sit back and we talk and we have a good conversation uh, and you just kind of chill out after a hard day of money grinding in Grand Theft Auto. So that's what we do here. Uh, we sit back, we chill out, we have a good time, and we play some video games. So thank you guys so much. Uh, and uh, Yvank, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, Yvank says, no, yeah, I got to go. I got to go take care of some personal business and get ready for the next piece of content for tonight. So, Kudo, Kudo Yu, 69. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much. Yes, gotta love Japan. Line. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us. But uh, let's get out of here. Let's go take care of some personal stuff. Uh, and uh, Yeah, absolutely. As a matter of fact, uh, Nick James Plays and Gamer Zero are both fellow content creators. Uh, they do great work. Guys, go check them out. Show those, uh, show them some love. They're members of our community, so definitely show them some love. But uh, everybody, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Seriously, it's good to see everybody. Thank you guys for being members of the Odd Ones. The next Grand Theft Auto Online live stream will be next Wednesday, Japan Standard Time. So I hope to see everybody here for that. So thank you guys so much. Uh, yeah, AJ Banks, thank you so much for being here. Uh, God bless you, brother. Thank you so much. Gamer Zero, uh, thank you so much, man. Uh, and thank you for being part of the Odd Ones. Dranko, as always, brother, good to see you, man. Thank you so much for being here. Take care of yourself. You're being. Thank you for being here, uh, especially. Uh, thank you for your donation today. Much appreciated, brother. Uh, Elite Toxic, thanks for being here. Nurse Nerd Gamer, thank you so much for being here today. As always, good to see you. And Rad Grizz, thanks for being here. Good to see you today. Take care of yourself. Dan Red, thank you for being here, brother, as always. Good to see you. And Kudo you, thank you for being here. Good to see you. Welcome to the channel. Johnny Wick, take care of yourself, brother. Thanks for being here today. Good to see you. Jose Mangana, welcome. As always, thank you so much for being here. Good to see you. Just getting some shouts out. Woodcroft, thanks so much for being here. It was good to see you. Tom Boy, I know you're out there somewhere. Thanks for being here, brother. It was good to see you today. And everybody else, thank you guys so much for being part of the Odd Ones today. Cellcraft, thanks for being here, brother. Take care of yourself. God bless to you. And everybody else, take care of yourselves out there. God bless to everyone. Thank you guys so much for being part of the Odd Ones. So if you haven't done so, please do me a massive favor. Hit that like button on the way out. It helps out the channel a ton. And again, the next GTA live stream will be next this upcoming Wednesday. What's up? Yes, sir. God bless to you, brother. See you next time, man. Take care of yourself. God bless to you. So with that being said, guys, this live stream is a wrap. I'm losing my voice, by the way. <laughs> I've been OddBan105, a.k.a. The Odd One, saying thanks to each and every one of you for your continued support of what we do here. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys when I see you guys. That's the right salute. That's what I'm talking about. I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next live stream. So please stay safe. And remember, don't just start the fire. Bring the smoke and take care out there. I'll see you all next time. So everybody, stay safe. God bless to you. Have a good day. Have a good night, no matter where you are. Johnny Wick, we'll see you next time, brother. Take care of yourself. God bless to you. And I will see you all next time. So let's put some music on and sign off the right way.
Take care of yourselves. I will see you next time. And yes, like you're being said, don't forget, bring the smoke and take care out there. Wow.